Hello everyone and welcome back and it's a uh, Wednesday and apparently Wednesdays now mean it's time for some um, Factorio space exploration so yes let's get on with some of that. So in the last stream I got um, all of this stuff along here built among a few other things as well of course and down here as you can see we're now making the um, the Deep Space Science 1 catalogues. Now they're not being made quite as quickly as I would like. We've got um, three machines along here making them and lots of machines not making and one machine uh, one machine that's only sort of working some of the time because one of these things is not being produced quite as quickly as I would like and that's this one here and I believe that's because there aren't enough of these pots coming through and that's I was going to say it's because there aren't enough of them being produced up here, but apparently not. Apparently it's this thing, this particle collider, that's the um, that's the problem. So let's put in another one of those, make this go a bit quicker, and I think I'm going to need another one of those as well to supply it. So let's do that to start with, <coughs> and that should fix all of my uh, throughput problems here, I think. Or alternatively, it'll just end up showing me other throughput problems that I also have and hadn't realised that I had. Where's the? Oh, it's coming in there. Okay. So now I need to link this along here. Oh, we've got the underground pipe there, so I'll do that, and that, and that. There we go, and extend that, and an inserter there. In fact, you know what, let's not have all of that pipe, let's, but let's yeah, make that um, uh, from those. There we go. So that's going to, that's going to, I need an output as well for that, of course. So this is going to increase the number of, um, <clears throat> number of these little pots of blue, blue zappi zappiness that are being produced. Uh, so let's check them in here. Um, that's that's going to help, but of course now there's, there's not enough on the input side, so I need to come up here and do exactly the same thing up here with the um, this thing, uh, EM facility, in order to fill that up with, in order to make the, um, the pots a little bit quicker so we've got everything we need. Like so. I don't know why I built that manually rather than copying and pasting it, but uh, never mind. Hey, lazy shooter, welcome to the uh, welcome to the stream. I think you're the only first person to start watching, so well done there. <laughs> good good reaction times there. Thank you for joining. Uh, let's copy that across as well to make sure that we're actually making these things quickly enough. In fact, you know what? I'm going to do this with the uh, copy paste shenaniganry like that, so that I don't have to do it all by hand. Much better. Okay, so a lot of what's being produced here is scrap. Now, I've, I've got a, um, a list of things I was noticing in the last ep last uh, last uh, stream. So things that need to be need to be fixed up need need to be done. So deep space science is obviously at the top of the list because that's the main thing I'm doing at the moment and that very much needs doing. But one of the other things was down here. I think this wasn't was this not set up properly or is it now okay? No, this is not set up properly. So I need to come in here and go stop being wrong. <laughs> Fantastic! Excellent timing there. Yeah, I thought I'm. Um, you're not. You're not actually. If you're a Twitch affiliate, um, which means basically if you if you've got more than I think it's 50 followers and a few other rules besides, um, and you're expecting Twitch to actually you know give you money when people pay for subscriptions to your to your channel, then you're not supposed to. Um, uh, you're not supposed to. There we go. Good, that's right. Yeah, you're you're not supposed to stream to multiple places simultaneously. You're supposed to leave it leave it till the next day before you um, allow the the the, uh, the video to go onto uh, onto another platform like YouTube. So that means technically I'm not actually allowed to stream to YouTube and Twitch at the same time. So I thought I'd use the um, YouTube can, um, announcement shouty at people thing to say, hey, come and don't forget to come and watch on Twitch because I'm doing stuff there as well. <laughs> so hopefully lots of people will come along and um, and join and join the stream. Um, so far, it's a little bit quiet, but you know, I'd be probably be, knowing me, I'd probably be playing Factorio anyway. So it's a uh, having having people along to watch is is is, is just a bonus. So there we go. There's the uh, there's the train coming to pick up all the scrap that's being produced by uh, by the science here. So that'll take it away to be recycled in exactly the same way that every single other place around this around the base is doing. So that should just work, TM. And uh, we should we should get. I shouldn't need to do any other faffing around to get scrap processing dealt with. So down here we now have 418 catalogs. That's, I mean, that's a start. Um, it's better than not having 418. Um, but there's a still a, a certain, quite a lot of processing needs to go on here to get the, get enough through for it to for it to actually work quickly. Now this is still not running. Why? Oh, we've run out of, not got any of the uh, the blue clouds coming. Well, the ion stream is not coming in quickly enough. Now this was something I was a bit worried about because I did notice that we seem to be ripping through a lot of it. 
and I don't know if firstly we've got the problem of the throughput by train so seeing whether there's enough stuff being brought in by, by the train to keep everything running here uh, that's the wrong button but also the other half of that is whether we're making the um, the, the ion stream fast enough over here and to be honest this is going up quite quickly but I think the problem is that we get, we're getting through it so fast over here that we're not going to be able to bring it over at a reasonable speed. So I think what I need to do, if we have a look at the energy science um, doohickey here, uh, let's try to select the correct thing. Yes, there we go. So at the top here, I've got the, um, where's my curse? There it is. We've got the, the, the various different types of um, cloudy, colourful cloud things you can produce. So at the moment I'm using the blue stream. I'm also bringing in pink stream for reasons. I think I might need green and I'm definitely going to need purple later which is the antimatter one so I am going to need a lot of these sort of things in this area and that makes me think it might be worth trying to actually produce these here rather than shipping them all shipping it all in by train so if I bring in if I bring in the uh, the orange goo the stone uh, the copper possibly the iron if I end up needing it and the um, uh, material science boxes then maybe then I can do all of the all of that produ production stuff over here and that might make things work a little bit better um, <clears throat> because I think we'll be able to bring stuff in a bit more densely than we can bring in the these things by train let's so let's let's check that for, for um, let's, let's sort of sanity check that so we've got ion stream um, you get a hundred of that requires one copper plate so you can we can fit 25 of that no 250 times that from one copper plate and we can fit a lot more than 250 copper plates in a train so yeah that's that's definitely going to be better although we do need the plasma as well so yeah it's going to be 10 times better because i think the limiting factor then is going to be the chemical gel and that turns from 10 of that into 100 of that so we can turn 12 things into 100 things so that's definitely going to be much better and also stone and copper stack much more highly as well so okay that's going to be um <clears throat> it's not going to be too difficult. It's going to be very power hungry, though. All of these things are. Um, but fortunately, we've got a lot of power available here. And if I need more of it, I can expand the uh, the solar field up here. So, yes, let's have a think about that. So, I mean, that's that's not going to be difficult. It's going to be exactly the same setup as I've got over here on the energy science area. So it's going to be a load of these things, then a load of these things. Also, a load of these and possibly later some of these as well so it's a lot of extra stuff and it's a you need a lot of power but there's nothing particularly difficult in here but I'm gonna need stone and copper now am I bringing in either of those yet uh, yes I've got copper coming in I haven't got stone at the moment and I certainly haven't got the um, what's the name the uh, material science packs so we may need to add in those as well but that's gonna that's gonna solve this problem um, well and truly. So yes, what was I saying? Yeah, I'm going I'm going to start trying to make the ion stream over in the um, other area. What will you miss? Well, you'll probably miss me messing around quite a lot with the um, uh, with, with with trying to get Deep Space Science one up and running and trying to sort of smooth everything out so it runs a bit more a bit more effectively and a bit more properly. So in in that general general direction, I need some plasma generators and particle accelerators and possibly some more particle accelerators so let's uh, faff around in here for a moment um, I don't seem to have any of those being requested at the moment so let's say I want some pl plasma generators I'm gonna five is pro six is probably going to be enough and then I also definitely need some particle accelerators uh, let's say four of those we'll put those in and we'll see how it goes and then work from there now, alarmingly, Twitch is telling me that I don't actually have anyone watching, which I'm pretty sure is not true because um, <laughs> you were talking to me. But, oh no, there we go. It's, um, that's updated. So, so we've got... Right, let's just... I'm just going to keep keep going and try and smack my internet and Twitch and OBS and everything else on the head whenever it starts, whenever it looks like it's misbehaving and just hope for the best. And I apologise in advance if the... Um, if, if the quality of the service and the stream and so on is not as good as we're used to. Um, yeah. I decided that switching over to Virgin Internet um, would be a good idea because it's like 
seven times faster than what I had before. Unfortunately, it's also about a seventh as reliable. So I'm having some, I've been having some issues today. Uh, but let's put it that way. Uh, you need a load more rail, Emma. No, you don't need more rail. Oh, you need more energy catalogs. Okay, I'll worry about that later. So yeah, hopefully things will carry on, will work a bit better and it, it won't be an, an enormous headache for you, me, anyone remotely involved. Um, but I'm afraid we're just going to have to wait and see um, and just be cautiously optimistic. So let's get this, these rails put down. We can do that. This goes up there. This one down there. Right, so that's an extra station put in for dropping stuff. Oh, oh no, it's not. I need to paste it in again like that. There we go. Now, I need, the next thing to do is remove all of this stuff, but we do want stone here, so I'm going to put stone in as a request, like so. And I'm going to unprogram all of these, and then reprogram a couple of them for stone as usual so this is all much sort of all the standard way i'm always setting up these uh, stations it's, this is a solid station we're just going to get stone arriving here up here at this one we're going to need the orange goop arriving uh so we'll set this one to oh it's already set to chemical gel that's convenient and we'll set this one to <clears throat> minus 10,000 chemical gel as well so that'll be brought along it'll come out on this pipe we then just need to pass it down through the rest of the system all the way down to the bottom where I'm going to be working with it. So let's do that next. Actually, that's, I feel like I should probably put this in at the top um, to get it out of the way in, in a place where it'll be well, yeah, out of the way. But that's no, that's going to be fiddly and annoying, so I'm not going to do that. Let's, do, let's, let's just do it down here as, 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 it, as is normal. So the first thing to do is generate plasma. <clears throat> um, plasma stream. So stone and chemical gel in. That's plenty of room for all of that to happen. Um, and you get plasma out. So we're going to take that like that. Uh, yep, that looks good. Uh, we have a belt along the top for the stone to come in along. And we have the pipes here like this. And this is a sm conveniently, this is a smaller machine, so I don't need to do any funny shenaniganery um, with extra sets of underground belts to bring it all the way across. So that's that's nice and convenient and easy. So stone, stone's going to come in from down here. Let's make this a little bit smaller. The other way, the other smaller Lawrence. There, there we go. That's nice. Um, oops, missed. So where's the next available square? <laughs> okay, it's right the way over here. So I want to draw... Ooh, From here, I need to draw a line... There. Ooh. Drawing a straight line with a mouse is surprisingly difficult. And then we'll have this one come out here. Um, act technically, we should actually put in a, um, a splitter like that. And we have that go up there and also down there just in case I need stone later. Which I probably won't, but you never know. Um, a bit of ground there. Add in that, and the stone can come up like this. We're also going to need stone, I think, turning into sand somewhere around here for another one of the um, another one of the clouds. But we'll worry about that in a bit. In a bit. So the next thing we're putting in here is going to be a pipe for the. Um, uh, for, the, for the chemical gel to come down. So we'll put that in here because that's the next available gap. Oop, overshot a bit there. Overshot quite a bit there. Um, oh no, I do not actually I need this bit. So that comes across there and down like that. And we'll put in that there. One, two, three, four. Then we need an enormous number of these 50. Oh, I've run, I'm running out of 15s. Oh no, I'm not. I've got another stack of them. Okay, that's all right. Uh, this is this is a problem because there isn't going to be enough room for this to jump. The underground pipes don't go that far. If 
put one there, it'll only get to there. So I'll put that there and we can do this. Uh, that's the right one. Yes, it is. A couple of normal pipes in there. And then we'll carry on with the, the uh, long ones from there. <laughs> in theory, this is easy, but there's all kinds of bits and pieces in the way because I've not planned far enough ahead. Right, there we go. That's in about the right place. So we need to bring this across here. Um, what I'm going to do, it's not quite the best way to do this from the point of view of the uh, this this belt uh, this belt here. But I'm going to do an underground like that and then loop it round there. There we go. That'll, that'll do. <clears throat> Great. So that's got the that's the stone in, in and the uh, so that's going to be making me this uh, the um, uh, plasma that I needed. Next step of this part is to come along here and in fact let's generally pave over this whole area. Because I'm probably going to want it all at some point. Right, the next step is these particle accelerators. And these things are kind of big. So I'm going to put put this down here. Like that. And we want to make um, ion stream. So I need copper and plasma. That's not too bad. Um, what I can do is I can run a pipe just straight along here for now. I'll get rid of a couple of bits there. And then I can use the underground pipes like this. Just to link up to here and here. And then pass a belt across here, and that's going to bring in the copper. So the copper comes from up somewhere up here, this one. And in here. That's up, that's this height. And nope, splitter. Which goes there, like that. Uh, now we need these on the inputs. Right, so that will now, that's my blue blue clouds being produced, which I can then feed up into the blue cloud pipe, which is this one. So once again, bring this down, uh, which I can't because there's, again, another thing in the way. Is that going to be a nine? Yeah, nine will do there. Um... And then down here, fill in the gap, more long pipes. So plasma happens at this level. Is that in a, in, in a lined up? I think it is. Yeah. Put that there. And again, a string of underground pipes going over to uh, bring it out. They, do they reach? No, not quite. Typical. <laughs> like so. And... So. Nearly there. Just a couple of steps. Oh, so I, I programmed that up, but I didn't wire it in. So I just need to put that cable in there. And now we'll be set. Now we'll request that stone. It'll get dumped on here. And we've got everything we need. And we should then start to produ start producing the blue clouds. Are you going to ask for some? Come on, go yellow. Come on, how about now? How about now? <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, there we go. Just a little, a little slower than I expected. All right, so that's that one, that one, that one, that one. Okay, so that, that will fix that problem. I'm going to wait for now, I think, and... and um, because this, this is everything I need for this particular level of science. I think the next level of um, deep space science needs, yeah, we, we need particle stream and antimatter stream here. So I'm going to start. I'm going to need to start making these fairly soon. <clears throat> I'll do that when I start on tier two uh, deep space science. Though there's no point in, in, in making a make, making a start on it now. Um, one thing I'm going to do is, well, once the um, once a train arrives down here and all of this starts working, then I can stop producing the um, the blue blue clouds up there. Where is this train? Come on, train. Okay, so it's picked up the um, stone from the recycling facility, so that's good. And it's heading over here rather slowly. 
because well everything is rather slow around here um because because i'm i'm, I'm not I'm, I'm i'm running my trains on uh, on a fairly low level fuel hey kodiak welcome thanks for joining um welcome to uh, lawrence has problems with his internet i'm uh, hoping it's going to be okay and hang together well enough for the rest of the evening but we'll see how it goes Right, so I'm, what I'm doing at the moment is I'm making some ion stream down here in the um, in the deep space science area because bringing it all over by train was, the th let's just say the throughput wasn't high enough. So I've got the stone arriving now. Everything else is here and ready. So we should be about to start making it. And then we'll have a look and see whether this is actually producing enough to keep everything running here at the, uh, at the rate at which we require it. And if not, it's just going to be a few copy pastes away. So it um, shouldn't be too difficult. I am going to stick some tanks in here though, I think. Um, like that, and like this. They sort of break the um, don't block the bus rules, but never mind. Hey, not a current. Um, I don't. I don't. T I tend to use beacons when I when I need more of something. So. Rather than just going in and beaconing things from the start as a as a um, as, a, as a sort of just not automatically, I tend to then build them up without beacons to begin with, and then when I start to have problems with the uh, with the throughput of something, <clears throat> then I can go in and whack it full of speed modules or whatever it is I happen to need. Um, and it, well, it depends. It depends what for to an extent. Actually, a lot of my um, a lot of my sort of resource handling system so things where uh, where it's down on a planet it's it's churning through massive quantities of whatever resource um building up the metals building up the copper or the beryllium or whatever those are those i will fully fully um module up to the uh, with um, productivity modules to get the cheaper stuff and then as as and when required i'll come in and put in the uh, and then i'll put in speed and um, efficiency modules to keep the power consumption and the the speed to sensible levels okay so these are running this is this is, however, empty, and I think we're. Yeah, we need we need more of these. Okay, that's not a problem. <clears throat> Let's put this one in f first, actually, like that, and then I can copy this, like that, and and again there. Uh, rotate you until you're not. Yeah, until we stop getting these sort of crossover where's where they, where they don't match. Um, that needs to go like that, and that should be good. Right. Once these start kicking out the uh, plasma as well, maybe that'll be enough. Maybe it won't. We'll see. Um, power is produced by basically each each. So I've got all of these little um, separate. They're not really outposts. They're sort of call them villages or sub factories or whatever you want. Um, each one of those has got a stack of uh, flat solar panels at the top of it, producing power for it. So it's it. They're all they're all separate, but power is so easily easily easy and cheap to produce with these solar panels that uh, yeah, it's, it's fine up here. It, this this way seems to just, just work quite nicely. Um, so yeah, power is cheap. I could. Um, so, so yeah, I could chuck in a load of modules and just say, well, I'm going to use a lot more power. It doesn't matter. Power is cheap. Um, and that, that that option is available. I just haven't really started doing that. And no, I am not using barrels anywhere at all because I absolutely hate them. <laughs> um, when I first got up into orbit, I used them a little bit for, um, for bringing a few of the liquids up to start with. But it was a pain and I quickly moved away from that and just and just didn't I've, I've not been i've not used barrels for a very very long time because they just, they're just such a pain logistically it's not worth it i mean okay granted in this you can um um you can cr you can crunch them down and turn them into steel so it's not a complete um complete waste bringing them up here but it, yeah I, I find them annoying enough that i don't want to <laughs> that one isn't working because i've rotated it the wrong amount there we go <laughs> Yeah, the sun would be possible. The question is, though, is it worth the extra fuel transporting all of your raw materials to solar orbit? Or are you better off just transporting your materials here and having a few more solar panels? Because it's it's not that many. Even even energy science up here, which is the one that requires the most, has, got, has only got this many, and it's at 50% capacity. So I find that you don't need that many solar panels, even in Norvis orbit, because they're all running at. Um, Was it in, in Norvis orbit? We get um, 
466% efficiency. And with the red solar panels, that's that's a pretty good amount of power. Why are you sad? Why have you not? We're still not producing enough plasma. Right, okay. This point I go, oh for goodness sake. And uh, just go like that. <laughs> so yeah, these, these things are taking too long to do anything. Let's, let, let's make that a bit quicker. Um, so yeah, I do use modules a bit. Um, I don't, I'm not against beacons. I just haven't. I just don't really. I don't use them as my sort of first first instinct, should we say? Right, we are producing it fast enough now, and more than fast enough. We start to get should start to get a bit of a um, <laughs> a little bit of a, a, a stock, stock built up there. Uh, water. It's almost. Uh, water fuel is. It is almost free. You t you, yeah, you turn enormous quantities of water and tiny amounts of copper into rocket fuel, but it takes so long. Uh, it's it, it's sort of inefficient with space and patience and all that sort of thing. So I've not really used that very much. Um, it's not. Uh, are you thinking? Are you thinking with spaceships? Yeah, you have a, you have to use a little bit more fuel if you're flying from um, flying out. To, well, I suppose it depends where where the moon is that you're doing that. I'm still doing a lot of my my basic resource processing. So all the th things like stone and copper and glass and iron and steel and so on are all still done on Norvis because I've not moved them off there. So um, from there, it's it's less fuel to get to Norvis orbit than it is to get to well anywhere else. And a lot of it's still coming by rocket as well. Um, <clears throat> And also, I started building in Norvis orbit because at the time that seemed like a sensible thing to do, um, and I haven't stopped basically. <laughs> so, so yeah, I mean, if I was starting again from scratch, then I'd probably consider doing it somewhere else, um, but I'm not. So, oil transport. Um, I've got a few few different things actually. I've got rocket fuel is being made off on a moon and then brought up in this this ship, this spaceship here. Um, for oil process, oil that I actually need on the uh, on in space, I've got this mining facility over here that's digging up methane ice and bringing that over to here, um, here here to be turned into oil and then processed but before I before I had the methane ice being done I was bringing coal up and using coal liquefaction so you need you bring up coal as a solid and you bring up water as ice so another solid those can be sent over by delivery cannons or in a rocket or whatever you want and then you don't have to bother with barrels and that makes me much happier so I did that <laughs> it may not be the absolute best way to do it. Uh, I wouldn't like to say for sure, but it felt better for my sanity because um, I didn't have to use barrels, so I went that way. Looking at this, I think I'm going to need to use a lot more, um, a lot more everything's because these are running at um, 200 plus 200 percent speed, so three times normal speed, and it's still barely enough. Um, so yeah, I'm going to need a lot more of these over there. So let's let's start let's start expanding this, <clears throat> and immediately run out of um, scaffolding, of course, like so. <laughs> but that's a start at least. So I want to just make let's make another copy of so this bit on the end here is working. So if we take that and do one, two more of those, put the belts in as well, and then. Two more of those. Uh, are these all linked up? No, of course they're not. That'd be helpful. There we go. And I've run out of these as well. That's probably convenient because otherwise I'd be starting to run into serious throughput problems. Um, these pipes are all, of course, in the wrong place because the machine's are different sizes, but that's easy enough to fix. Just do that and that. I should have copied the. Um, bit slightly slightly differently from the way I did. Oh, and we've run out of power as well, so let's put in another one of these. Um, let's put it here, because these are the things that are going to be more affected. And now I think I am going to put in a beacon, because all of, I've noticed how slow all of this is. So yes, I think it's beacon time. Do, 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 beacon time. Uh, put it here, and it's going to get as many of these machines as possible. I can't put it there, because there's a pipe in the way. No, I can't put it there, because there's still a pipe in. Oh, no, 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 there would be all right. Yeah, I'll put it there. So I need to pull up this. No, it won't. Ah, um, uh, 
uh, there. Is that going to work? Didn't plan this ahead. Didn't plan this properly. Um, put that there. Yes, that's getting all of those. Oh, it doesn't get this one. Apart from that, it gets all of the machines that it would have got otherwise. So it's pretty good. Do that. And then... No, those are blue circuits, not speed modules. Do that. And then you can have not quite so many of those. Let's actually, I will put in some efficiency modules just to bring the power consumption down a little bit, because otherwise it's going to be a bit too greedy for uh, for sanity, for sanity's sake. And why are you not running? Oh, you are running. Okay. Right, so all of those, all four of those are running. Did I only bring over four? Apparently so. Uh, what's going on up here? Oh, they ran out of those machines. So you are running at 304 plus 304% speed. So that's, that's going even faster than the ones over on the other side. Um, how are we for power? That's the big question. Um, yeah, okay. I knew I was pretty sure that was going to happen because all of these things, especially the particle accelerators, actually. Let's yeah, let's go in and efficiency up the particle accelerators a little bit more because this is a bit crazy. How much power are they using? Trying to use 528 megawatts. Okay, that's a bit silly. Right, there we go. Uh, now we're down to... Dun, 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 210 megawatts. That's a bit more reasonable. I'm still going to need to go in and put in some more power, though. Um, actually, I could put some more efficiency in here. No, I don't really want to. I'll, 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 t I'll take the power hit. <laughs> Norvis Core is up to all, but that's an interesting idea. <coughs> oh, I've run out of um, uh, space scaff scaffold. Bringing Norvis Core up to all, but it's an interesting idea. Um, now, I'm doing all of my core processing down on Norvis surface for the for, for because then I can use productivity modules and get a bit more a bit more stuff out of it. Um, but yeah, that's an interesting idea. I yeah, I, I'm intrigued by that. There we go, 4,000 of that. Um, how many? Ooh, I've got lots of solar panels. Yeah, I've got lots of those. Do you find that works well for sort of for the amount of everything you get through? Sort of the balance of um, of stone, iron, copper, vulcanite, um, and oil. I haven't really thought about how much oil I get through compared to other things, so I don't I don't know whether it feels right or not. Uh, is this the? No, this is biology. Right, up here. More. The cores are infinite, yes, but the amount of... Um, but still not enough. Jeez. Um... <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Um, okay, so I need to double that. Um, yes, the cores are infinite, but there's the sort of the opportunity cost and the hassle and so on of transporting them all over the place. So, yes, but also no. <laughs> but no it's an interesting idea, though. Um, yeah, and if you could balance it, then that would, yeah, that strikes me as being a good way of doing that. Uh, right, so I need more of these. Okay. I'm not sure what the bots are bringing me then. Oh, probably more uh, solar panels. So I've got loads of them now. But yeah, that's one of the things I like about this game. Is that we can all come up with completely different ways of doing things. And sometimes it'll be a way that makes other people go, What? That's crazy. And sometimes it'll be a way that makes other people go, Oh, that's a really good idea. Why didn't I think of that? And sometimes both, actually. I mean, just because an idea is crazy doesn't mean it's a good one. Doesn't mean it's not a good one, sorry. Uh, spot on. I'm impressed with myself there. Oh, less impressed there. You know what, let's get the bots to do it, because they're a bit more accurate than I am. And this is kind of why I have construction bots, after all. 
Um, goodness sake. <laughs> I also need one more row of this across the top. So I'll put in two just in case I miscounted. I didn't miscount, but never mind. I don't care, just put it there. Right, there we go. And them. Right, is that enough power? For now. Right, okay. I mean this probably won't be won't be enough power for long because I'm going to expand this out and start doing more even more um science based shenanigans. But still, for now, we're now producing this at crazy rates. And this is gradually filling up but only very gradually right I'm going to come up here and tell this to stop requesting the blue stuff um, we might get I think we're gonna get one more trains worth of it arriving because these are these are empty um, and then we can switch over to trying to use it from down there and seeing if that's enough oh yeah oil cores would be um, even better I suppose that's a good point um, because you can get even more oil per per core <laughs> um but yeah i've uh, yes i'm doing currently I'm, I'm i'm the rocket fuel is coming from uh, the oily moon as i said and the um the oil that i actually use up here is coming from here and we're starting to run a bit low on it actually there's like two hundred thousand left so that may turn into a problem later we shall see how it goes let's pump this this out and then i can turn this off and just say stop doing that Bing. that's oh no it's not quite empty um, the question is, is the new system going to be enough to keep up? And the answer is, who knows? We'll find out <laughs> as time goes by. Come on, drain faster. It's got down to the sort of amount now where I think, well, I might as well just empty it and dump it into the um, atmosphere or lack of atmosphere. But, yeah, I mean, it's got down to 10 now. Uh, let's do that and then dump that. Right. Okay, so that's now reusable for something else later if I if I if I want it. Down here we have we have a bit stored actually down here, so that suggests that we're not ripping through it quite as fast as. Uh, 1.4. Yeah, okay, no, this is go this is going down, so we we still aren't producing it fast enough. If I fly over here though, we can put down some extra machines for making it. Um. Can I get it? No, I can't get it to do the, uh, the module. Oh, oh no, I haven't run out of speeds. Um, uh, two of them and two of them, and that's that's running at plus eighty percent speed. And that's, oh, oh, it's out of range of the um, mod, uh, beacon. That's why. So I should probably put in another one of these about here. Uh, that'll do. That's in the wrong place. Well done there, Lawrence. There we go. <laughs> that'll, that'll power it now. Okay, so that'll, that'll bring the speed up a little bit because we've got all of these running. We're still plumbing short of plasma, though. Why are you complaining? Oh, you got two. Oh, you're being double moduled, uh, double beaconed. Damn. All right, let's move this out a little bit further because I'm going to need some more of these anyway, and then I'm going to need that beacon in place. So let's have another four. Not that will fit, but, you know, I'll try. Try for four. Aim high. You'll still miss, but at least you won't shoot yourself in the foot, as the saying goes. When you say important data cards, do you mean ones that are used elsewhere or ones that require... Um, uh, ones that require special ingredients or something else entirely? Uh, no, I can't go... It's getting that one, so I can't go... Can't go any there or anywhere left of it, so it's going to have to go there, which isn't per isn't ideal. But never mind, we'll have to do. Now I can use the underground to do that. And that. I don't think that one's being aff yeah, that one's not being affected by any beacons, which is a shame. But never mind. In fact, you know what? Let's move this along slightly so it is getting beacon. 
Oh wait, it was this one that was... All of this. <laughs> Move it along to about... Oh, I can't tell where the beacons are... Where the beacon is beaconing. That's annoying. Okay, so it's to, to where I'm standing. So put that in... Uh, there. And it should be beaconed. But then that doesn't reach. There we go. Right, okay. Oh, significant data. Um, yes, yeah, so that's made in the in the middle of all, all the sciencey stuff. So science, all the science packs, all the science catalogs are brought into these stations like this, where they're unloaded, passed along here, made into uh, made into insights, and all all the science packs. And the insights are also passed up to here, where we've got a little central area that's making significant data out of all of them. Um, I do need to upgrade this to be doing the um, the all four insights um, significant data recipes at some point. I haven't done that yet because the, super, the tier two supercomputers are kind of pricey, and I've just not made enough of them yet. Um, so yeah, that's all being that's all being done here um, in the middle of my whole science area. So we've got down here we've got um, astro, energy, material, and biological, all feeding down into here into my science sushi system, where we have all of the science packs going around here and being loaded into these two. Um, uh, two two labs, and then we've got this this beacon here making all the labs go really really fast because they've all got tier tier six um, productivity modules in them, just to get it as good as possible. <laughs> and that's enough to um, basically double the productivity of these uh, of these labs, which is quite nice, while still keeping them nice and quick. Okay, how are you doing? Why are you not doing? Oh, you are doing. You're just, no, you're not. This one's turned off. Why are you? Why are you sad? No. Okay, that's why it's sad. Why are you sad? Oh, you've got an inserter. Why did you not have an inserter? What's going on there? I must have miscopied or something. Okay, I think that's probably going to be just about enough. These have stayed pretty static at about. One, one to two thousand each, so I think that's probably probably all right. That said, up here we still don't have enough of this coming through. These are coming out fast enough. We're st still short of power, crikey! All right, I'm going to call this good enough for now, TM, and sort of and, and, and leave that for now while I go off and do the uh, the next bit of it because the next. The next bit is 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 quite significant, and I want to get I want to get on with the uh, the, the science and majigamy. So we've got 810 in here now. So this is nearly halfway to there being a um, a train system, a, a um a train's worth ready. Yes, LTN does help a bit. I mean, it means there's there's fewer stations required. There's just generally it makes things it makes things easier and tidier, and a lot fewer trains required. Instead of having trains at every single uh, pickup station, you just send them out there as they're needed. So no, not you. Up here. Right, basically, I need to do this system again, but to make the deep space science. And the deep space sciences aren't too bad. Yes, we need some Naquium plate to come to, to, for, for them. This, we need significant data in the same way we needed it for everything else. Uh, we do need the deep space catalogs. We need the advanced neural gel to be brought in, actually. So that's going to be a thing I'm going to need to start shipping. Am I? No, no, I've already started shipping that out. That's okay. Um, and thermofluid. So, yeah, that's not too bad. We don't need... Did I read that right? We don't need to make any insights for this one. We don't. So there's no insights. Just whack the catalogs in straight away. Oh, that's nice. That's um, a, a step that won't be required then. That's that's quite nice. So we need another one of those unloading stations. Um, in fact, you know what? I'm going to copy this biological one down here um, because then I can just sort of reprogram it in a um, slightly more slightly it's a slightly more exactly the same kind of way. Did that? That was that was awful English. I should know better than that. Okay, so there we go. We've got all of that. That's the that's a, a basic station. We need the tiles. Don't care about the train stop names. Don't care about those. I don't know what they're doing down there. So we'll blueprint that. Head up here. And I think if I put it in about here, that's probably going... I could probably put it in here, actually. Put it in about there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's line it. Let's line it up with this one, just for the sake of um, neatness. Let's put that in there. Ooh. 
There. <laughs> oh, goodness sake, bots. Bots are both too clever and not remotely clever enough. Okay, I'm going to need to extend this up quite a bit further to um, allow room for the unloading stations for this science pack, like so. And then link that in to here and here so the trains can get in and out. That's important. Um, and then apparently paste this in yet again because we still haven't got all of the belts we need. No, no, not there. Where are you? What have I done? <laughs> Apart from the obvious, it's wrong. <laughs> I think, yes, I dropped a... Oh, I dropped a blueprint in the wrong place. Let's try that again with less fail, shall we? So that goes there. Right, there we go. I think that's probably okay. So down here... What? Is that not a... Oh, I've run out of... Um, these constant combinators. Good sake. Um, apparently, that means that probably means I'm no longer making them. Can I make them one in some of my pocket? Yes, I can. There we go. So make, make a few of these. Right. So this will bring in um, all of the all of the different tiers of, of space deep space catalogs, so we can get all of them brought in trivially and all dropped into the into the right places. Pass them up into the into the science systems. Uh, Two thousand apparently seems fair. So. Deep Space Science, down here, 1, minus 2,000. Two, minus 2,000. <laughs> three, three <clears throat> and 4. I'm also going to need Naquium here. So if I bring in the, uh, the Naquium ingots... Um, and there's bound to be something else I'll need, but I'm going to have I'm going to have a separate fluid station for the um, for the neural gel because there's no I don't think there's any point in bringing that in, um, uh, bring try, 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 squeezing a. a so I was pretty sure that was supposed to work, but uh, it didn't seem to be. But yes, it is. Right. Um, yeah. There's no point in uh, uh, there's no point in faffing around with that, the hassle of putting bring the neural gel in along a um, into the same station here. I, I could. I don't really want to. So let's start. I suppose, hmm. Yeah, I think having the ones on this side makes sense. So we'll carry on with that. So tier one, deep space science catalog. Yes, please. Um, and then all of the rest of these are going to need to just be left empty because I can't program them with tier twos, threes, and fours yet because I haven't researched them. However, I can tell this one to do Naquium because I've got that. And I'm going to need some power in here. Put that there. I need to put another one in about here. Sure, that'll do. I'm not going to hook this up to the, uh, the main system yet because I want to get some more stuff built first. So I want to basically do all of this again. I can use the same piping systems, the same uh, production system over here. I'm just going to reprogram it all. I don't need this bit in the middle though, so I could move the whole thing further over to the left, but I don't think there's. I, th I think I won't because it'll probably just confuse me. So if I copy all of that with tiles, create blueprint, put that in there. Get this built up. Then I can think about running out of scaffolding. Great. I picked up 4,000 last time I was over on the other side of the base, and it's, uh, just, I just ripped through this stuff incredibly quickly. It's ridiculous. But this is this is fairly straightforward, because it's just doing the same sort of things again that I've already done uh, four times over for the other sciences. So it's not too challenging at this point. Um, I am going to need some more of these though so let's put that up to five just so I've got a spare because I think turning the Naquium ingots into Naquium plates is probably going to be quite a big job so 
There we go. Take five thousand this time. See if that keeps me going for a little bit longer. Because <sighs> this flying back and forth endlessly across the um, across the factory is does get a little bit un does feel a little bit unnecessary. Um, I just need to make sure I gather enough of everything in order to be able to um, to build up all the stuff I'm trying to do when I, when I first get out there. So right, let's get building. Um, what I should probably do is put some of this down myself, just like that, because it's quicker. And then let the bots do the fiddly bits around the edge, because that's what they're good at. And then, speaking of fiddly bits, we can do this part. Uh, so that goes there. Right. And then we can reprogram these. So you're so you're now doing you're supposed to be doing deep space science one instead of biological whatever it was that one. You aren't even placed. What? Where do they? I brought five of these. Did, oh, no. Oh no, I didn't. I requested five of them, but apparently didn't actually bring most. Only brought two over. Great. Okay, so this is a bit twisted and complicated, um, which is a bit, which is a little bit unfortunate because it's going to make it very hard to debug when I realise that I've got it all wrong, <clears throat> and I'm bound to get it wrong because there's so much, as I said, so much complexity in here. I'm bound to get some things wired into the wrong places, but the basic, the basic layout. I've run out of belts as well. The basic layout should be good. Um, I just need to think about the comp complexities of it. Um, and try and work out which which belt does what, as well. So what have we got down here? Here we're bringing ah oh, okay so we're bringing in the significant data and also the insights on this belt, because at this point for this one we did need insights. So if we take a look at these, what, what does it take? So do they, is there is there any commonalities? An aquium plates and advanced neural gel for that one. An aquium cubes and advanced neural gel. So it looks like. The um, advanced neural gel is the equivalent of the um, of the insights for these things. Uh, Naquium tesseract. So yeah, each time, so in the same way that most of them, this is a bad example because it's biological and biological is weird. But over here, we've got the um, we're feeding the uh, iridium plates in, then the iridium girders, then the iridium bearings, then the iridium whatever these things are. Um, so, so yeah, it was, we've got the Naquium test rack, and then for the fourth one, there'll presumably be an, yeah, an Aquium processor. So the advanced neural gel is the equivalent of the um, other thing, for, is, is equivalent of the, 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 the insights for these. And I can't put that on a belt, which is slightly unfortunate. So I'm going to need to be a little bit more, um, well, not a little bit more imaginative. It's not that, it's not exactly difficult, but I need to do things, need to do things slightly differently. And I need to bring in that extra fluid as well. Uh, we also need to bring in the um... right. So what have we got down here? So of, of these, we've then got one and two on the bottom belt, and three and four on the top belt. Oh, that's here still. I put I should have put this in a little bit lower down, but never mind. So bring that down like that. So we've got one and two are going to be these ones. So if we Rid of that. Do that. Uh, I'm a Newton bitter. Right, this one. This one is one and two. Let's put that there. And then three and four like that. That can go. Then we have down here. Um, we need to get these up there somehow, and that doesn't look too difficult. If I put in a splitter here, oh, actually, I could just go straight with that, like that. Oh no, I can't. What, what did, hang on, why didn't that... Oh, I put it in the wrong place. There we go, that goes there. Flip that round. 
Um, that there. Right. Oh, I'm in navigation satellite mode now. Right, do that. Okay, so that's going to bring the, these up here. That's fine. We can jump over both of those, bring them straight up here, and then along this one. Yeah, that's simple. Uh, so that's um, a bit smaller. I know I could potentially just be doing hops to little little specks of scaffolding along here, but I don't. I don't. I feel like the scaffolding, the un, having underground belts going underneath nothing, just feels wrong to me. So I don't like to do that. <laughs> and yes, it doesn't matter at all, but that's how I'm playing. So yeah. Then we have coolant here and warm coolant here. Let's check the recipe for that there and make sure there aren't any unpleasant surprises in there. Uh, super cooled, coming out as warm. Great. And we need to link that in. So one of these, this is the super cooled. <laughs> yeah, it just looks wrong and weird, and I don't like my bases to look wrong and weird. So <laughs> uh, what were you saying else uh, as well? Um, yeah, making it the whole thing as a massive bus would... Yeah, and you could. It's just the sheer amount of stuff that you have just sitting on belts. I've seen one of the better th designs I've seen on the on the internet is uh, somebody who'd put it together, who'd um, had individual rockets landing for each different thing. Um, so in, in, where, where I'm using LTN, he was using rockets and having a different ro having a number of rockets landing for each different uh, product he was dealing with or each different thing he was supplying. So you'd have um, you'd have so. Here, where I've got... A, no, that's a bad example. Here, where I've got um, these stations, he'd have a um, a stone st a stone rocket landing pad, a glass rocket landing pad, a vitamin lines rocket landing pad, an iron rocket landing pad, and a, and, a, and a coal rocket landing pad. So the trains would drop in out of... Out of um, out of no, uh, the, the, the rockets would drop in, bringing all the different supplies for all the different things, rather than having one central place where you bring all the supplies to and then redistribute them. And that seemed like quite a good idea... I'm not sure I like. I, I didn't, didn't. Wouldn't say I like it enough to sort of to want to do that myself, but it was definitely an interesting idea and one that sort of made made quite a bit of sense. I thought. I'll bring that over there to here, and then once again we can go underground like that. Four t t one one out. Goodness sake! <laughs> oh, so that'd be a nine and a five, and then probably still oh, no, a nine and a five. Oh yeah, because fifteen minus one is fourteen. Yes, well done, well done, Lawrence. Good maths there. And then we'll bring these down here as well. Oh, that's too long. Down here. What do I? What do I want down here? It's probably another one of those. Yes, it is. Actually, it doesn't need to be. It could be a seven, since I've got some of those in my inventory, and then just put that there instead, because that'll be long enough. There we go. Okay, so that's that's the coolants up here. That's that's good. That's most of the stuff in linked in that we need at this point, I think. Let's have a look at the previous one. So here we've got um, significant data done or at least it will be done once I come back with enough enough um, belts to do it insights we don't need but we do need the uh, neural gel in order to link that up um, those those are done iridium would be the equivalent no uh, naquium would be the equivalent of the of the uh, the vitamin that's going in here so I need to bring in naquium which is this this belt here that needs to be turned into into plates somewhere um, to probably somewhere along here. Actually, let's... No, let's do the Naquium processing in here. I sus... 
suspect, I just have this feeling that I'm, what I'm probably going to end up doing is making all of those Naquium products somewhere else. So the Naquium cubes, the Naquium tesseracts, the Naquium um, quadrilax, no, processors, somewhere else and shipping them in, like I'm doing with all of the Vitamalange stuff here. So I think I'm going to need an extra station for this sort of thing. Um, yes, yeah, so... I'll, but I'll make, I will make the... Um, the Naquium ingots on site, because that sounds pretty easy. Um, I don't mean ingots. I mean um, plates. And for now, let's do that with just with an assembly machine. I'll probably upgrade this to a. Um, I left a lot more space there than I needed. I'll probably upgrade this to a... Uh, what do you call it? Um, <laughs> a thingy. Yes, I shall upgrade it to a thingy. Uh, a, a manufactory, one of the big ones. Um, in the not quite... Really quite soon. Oh, for God's sake. Um, but not just yet. I'll wait to see how much too slow it is first. And it might actually be that with just two things in there, it's not too bad. So it's feeding down here, along here, up here. This is going to the first one. Okay. So that means I can come in here. I don't. That means I don't need this. Shoot, because that's coming in from nearby. Nearby. I do need power for that. Uh, let's put in one of them in. Let's put it there and another one there. They're cheap enough. So you are to turn Naquium into Naquium plates. Did I put inserters? I did not put inserters on that. There we go. So that, I think, is now all of the inputs. I've done this output. We're then outputting all kinds of nonsense here. So we've got here we've got the shoot for getting rid of the um, the used data cards. Where does that go down here? And how can I easily tap into it? Is it this one? Yes. So this is the used data cards coming along here, along this 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 belt here. So I need to tap into this one. So if I run down parallel to this one, then I can dump them in there from that. So let's not have this go up there. Because this this is collecting... Yeah, this is collecting from all of them. So I don't need any of... I don't need any of this. What I do need is... Oh, let's... Let's go down here, actually, because it make doing that easier. This can come across here, and then turn down here. Oop. Ah, push the right buttons. There we go. Ground space down here. Right, perfect. And then we go like this. Like that. And put in a splitter here to join them. There we go. So that's, dispo that's disposing of the uh, of the used um, duff data cards. These ones, broken data cards. Ah, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and other similar sort of words of disgruntlement. I also need, yeah, I also need to get rid of those. That's going to be slightly more tricky. Um, I, oh, I see how this is working. Yeah, okay, that's that doesn't need reprogramming. That one does. That's going to need to be. Deep Space Science 3, which I can't do yet. So let's turn that into, I don't know, fish or something. Um, actually, no, let's just leave it as it is, because that'll, that'll make me realise it needs it needs fixing at some point. Okay, so down here, yeah, we've also got, so we're also going to have broken data cards coming a lot, coming out of here, because um, that's a another thing for this. Now, I could pass them down this belt as well, but I think this is the only place. This is the only place that broken data cards are made. Now, at the moment, the only other, the only place we actually get broken data cards, I think, is over here where we do the formatting, and sometimes broken data cards come out. Is that that? that I'm not sure that's right though. Let's have a look. Broken data cards. So these are produced by formatting junk data cards. Sure. Formatting. Formatting. This. This is. This is what I'm looking at right now. So they're produced by all of the. Um, by all of the deep space science packs, produced by formatting, produced by one of the. Okay. 
Oh, so they are produced by one of the dark matter, one of the other data packs. What am I doing with what am I doing with them when when they're being produced there? Am I just shoving them in a recycling machine and, and turning them into? I don't know actually. That, that wouldn't work very well. So somewhere, yes, I am. I'm just putting them into a recycling machine. Oh, does that turn that turns them into scrap, doesn't it? Which I can then dispose of in the normal way into the normal scrap disposal systems. <sighs> hmm. So. Over here, we don't have anything dealing with scrap at the moment, so this is going to have to be an extra thing I put in. We've got the, we're dealing with junk data cards there, but we're not dealing with scrap. I could, I could put them on the same disposal chute, and then down here have them go into this train as well, and then over here filter them out and pass them straight up onto here so that they'd be processed along here. I think that might be the easiest way to do this because everything is already in more or less the right places for that. Yeah, let's do that. And then let's go over and have a look why that's not running because I wasn't paying enough attention to it. I was just thinking about other things. So yes, here. I want to um, take out broken data cards. No. I want to click on the right thing. Broken data cards. And just pass them straight under there. And then onto here. There we go. That'll get them out of the way. And we do probably want to do the same thing up here somewhere. That belt goes to the wrong place. Oh no, it doesn't. Yep, that's fine. So broken data those data cards and also broken data cards. Shove, shove them on there. Okay, so that brings them down here. Well, I'll then need to reprogram the... Um... Where are we getting rid of them? Is it this one? Nope. This one? Nope. This? This one. Here. So they'll end up down here. Can I put multiple... I can't put multiple things onto here. So I guess I just tell them to put anything, absolutely anything in. That's a bit of a shame. I don't like doing that, really. But I guess that's what I'm going to have to do. I think the map... The vast majority of stuff that comes down here is still going to be a junk data card. So it's probably safe to leave the um, the demands, requests and demands and things as they were. Then I head all the way back over here. <laughs> it... Um, no, too far. Although, actually, while I'm here, let's get some. Let's get all those belts I need. <laughs> Taking them from the least sensible place, but never mind. And let's take a few more because that didn't seem to be enough, really. Right. Ooh, fly around the spaceship, and then to here. So here, I want to say. I still want these guys to uh, unload unload everything. Oh, you can program them with um, by attaching a um, 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 constant combinator to them, can't you? I think. So I can say here I want to do junk data cards and broken data cards. And if I then wire that in like this... And say um, set filters. Oh, it's only set for just one of them. Uh, not sure if that works or not. I don't think that does work. I think these can only be only be set to one. Okay, forget that idea then. Um, oh yeah, and I better unwire them as well. Um, yeah, but no, filter inserter isn't better because it's slower. <laughs> stack. I need. I want stack inserters here because they're quick. Um, so yeah, I'll just. I'll just. I'll have to trust to the LTN gods that it's that it all works out nicely, <laughs> which is as dangerous as we all know. Right. Uh, output priority. We want to filter out broken data cards to the left, and I want to. I want to pick those up so they don't go the wrong way. Um. Actually, let's use a splitter here, just in, 
Actually, no, let's just dump them on the side of the belt here. Right, why are you stopped? Do we actually have enough? We haven't... Are these full? Blimey. Gorsh. That's, that's impressive. Uh, in that case, let's have some more of them. <laughs> uh, put that there. Right, there we go. Right, so there we go. We'll put a bit more demand on on that. Um, I need to link the, all that. Make sure all those chests are linked in though. So let's see. Um, oh, I think they are. Okay. Yes, they are. Oh, because I did the way I copied and pasted them. Yes, that's worked. Yeah, I know. I know. It's amazing. It's, I've, blank data cards, shortages of blank data cards have been a problem for so long. It's, it's crazy to have the um, have the opposite thing being an issue. Right, what I am going to... Uh, no, I think I'll just let... Hmm. So we've got 8,000. I'm sort of thinking, I don't want... I want to make sure there's enough to always be able to format them. So what I'm going to do is some more cables this can go to there and I want you to only be enabled when um, blank data cards is less than let's say 8,000 because that seemed to be a number that it was on so that's now stopped that belt um, which means eventually this will run out, which means eventually these machines will stop making them, and then we'll only be getting the recycled ones through from here that have been reformatted. Um, because I don't want this to... Yeah, this has got... To, there were too many of these, but there, there were too many of these hanging around here, and that's going to cause problems elsewhere with them, with them over um, overflowing. Oh, with the rocket landing thing I was talking about earlier, I was assuming it was a separate landing pad for each each individual um, resource, like I've used here, but one of these for every single resource, for every, basically a, a landing area like this, but probably without the warehouses, for every single one of one of your uh, research areas. But yeah, if you're doing something more complicated, then that's probably why it failed. <laughs> <clears throat> Right, okay, so we've got that. That's loading up happily now. We've got 9,000. Okay. Well, actually, what I am going to... No, it isn't going to help. No point. I was going to try and split it so it would um, it would balance them out a little bit more between the um, between the chests, but the way I was going to do it wouldn't have worked, and there was isn't room to put in a full 1 to 6 bal um, split balancer in there, so I'm not going to do that. Right, back over here again. Let's actually put down all of these belts that I've been um, promising. Belts, 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 belts. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be dreaming of belts for the rest of my life at this rate. Okay, so that's um, significant data in, uh, junk data out, and catalogs in, although I haven't actually requested any of them yet, or, or if I have, it hasn't arrived. Naquium in. Let's. Did I did I put Naquium on there? I did. I haven't linked up to there though, so let's let's do that now. Let's get the stuff to st starting to arrive. At the very least, we'll get the naquium. I hope, and maybe we'll get maybe we'll be ready for these uh, catalogs as well. So that's going to work. That's going to work. The only thing left is the advanced neural gel at this point. I think we're feeding in quite a lot. Of, um... Why don't? How have I run out of manufacturers? It's bizarre. Um, I'll have to have a look into that at some point. Right, so this is the oh, this this is something I haven't done yet. This is the shoot that brings the um, brings the um, actual science cattle, science um, science packs out. So I'm going to need to link these, bring these all the way down to the um, down to the to the uh, science area. Wow, I've, that that has just swallowed up all of the significant data. So I mean, it's going to be making more, obviously, like like this. But that's just emptied all of the resort, all of the um, the buffer I had of it. That's quite impressive. Uh, but never mind, I can just leave that to, to fill back up again. So that's that, that's okay. So I'm going to need another drop-off station that's, uh, that's capable of doing liquids to bring the. Or should I use this one? 
let's be la let's be lazy for now and bring in the um bring in the advanced neural gel here. I'm still going to need another station later. Um, in order to get the uh, what do you call it? Um, in order to get the all all of the other weird uh, naquium things that I'm going to need later. But for now, let's let's do it the easy way. So put those in like that. Uh, join them up like this. Now, because this is the only fluid that's going to be brought to the station, I don't need to worry about the wiring on this on this tank. I can just say, if there's a liquid there, put it in these tank or pump. Put it put it in these in these tanks. Oh right, yeah. I put it, yeah, having one one per research area that would be an absolute nightmare to deal with. Well, I suppose you could you could have a different shopping list for each one, so you could, you could try and use that, and it might work, but it be it would be quite complicated to try and get that set up and working. I feel. Uh, neural gel, that one. Don't say neural gel. So I'll set that to minus ten thousand, so we get that to start arriving. Then we'll need a pipe coming across somewhere. Now I'm going to bring it across a little bit further down. I think I need to bring that in here, and then probably the same on all of all of them. Um, so that needs that's going to need to be moved, obviously. Otherwise, it's not not too difficult, especially if I bring it. Yeah, if I bring it across. Down here, and then try and head up over. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's come all the way down here and bring it across in this gap, and then try and push it up through there. That's that seems manageable. So. Or just, you know, fall off the world. That's good too. Well, same for that gap that's down there. Was I going to bring it? Yeah, if I bring it across in here. Like that. That'll work. And you still need to go underneath that one. But I'd have to go and probably have to go under it at some point, really. There we go. That's, yep, that's worked as intended. Let's put a pump on the output as well. Just because that way you get your sort of everything proportion, everything in the right place. You don't get it sort of. You 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 keep all the pi all the pipes full is what I'm trying to say, and that means that I feel like the machines run slightly more efficiently if the pipes are full. I don't think it really matters, but it seems like one of those things that's good, a good idea for just you know general neatness. Long enough. Yes, excellent. Oh. Uh, corner, corner, long pipe. This is probably just filling up these pipes is probably going to be enough to um, make it require another train load, train train to bring some more over. This one. Uh, no, let's just not. Let's bring that up about here. I'll probably find there isn't room for this for all kinds of unfortunate reasons, but for now it seems like a good place to start trying to do things. Pipe and right, so we're going to need that needs to be somewhere else. That's not a problem. Then need underground pipe going like that and that. Oh, <laughs> it was a seven all along. Right there, there we go. Right, um, make some more of those. Oh, okay, that's fine. Though all those complaints are—I don't know why I've run out of Naquim ingots. I'm going to have to look at that in a moment. I, I mean, if I have run out, it's pretty obvious. It's going to be pretty obvious why I've run out because there's just not enough being passed through. But okay, let's check that because I thought Naquim was something I had quite a lot of at this. But yeah, I do. I've got 788 in there. Why is this not? Why is this not? Um. 788. How many fit and trades? It stacks up to 10, doesn't it? Um, yeah, it stacks up to 10. So a train is 400. So that should that should be enough. Why then is 
what? Where, where am I? Okay. And I'm requesting an arbitrary number. Basically, I'm requesting 10 of them from here. So that should... Or 50 of them from here. So that should trigger. I'll, I'll head over in a moment and have a proper look at that. Because I know there's no... Um, there's no combinator on that station, which is bad. I should know better than to do set them up like that. But I think this is then done and sorted. And once everything else is ready, things should just appear here and it should start working. So let's go and have okay, let's go and have a look at that Naquin production now. Cause yeah, there's there's a station there. There are presumably it's not flying to the spaceship. There are presumably trains around to deal with, to bring it, to transport it around. Yeah, there's a load down there in the in the uh, in the stations. So here we are. Let's put in a let's put in a, a um, the combinator that the, the combinator that should really be here like that. Now let's find the um, settings it should have on it in order to try and get this right. None of thing is none of these ones are set up with combinators, which is sort of foolish because it makes things not work quite as nicely but it does basically work uh, where's a provider station you're not a provider station of the right sort you're a provider station okay so you're on network one you're providing a, a 40 stacks that's everything you need for one of these really isn't it you uh, I want to limit trains to one because I might as well um, Train length. I don't. They're all the trains are the same length. There's no point in changing that. Provide threshold is 40 stacks. We've got that set. Provide priority is irrelevant for this. Okay, this should. This should be okay. Oh, need to link it in, of course, like that. We've got that link to the link to the light. Link to there. Link to there. So that should work. Um. Oh. Okay. Now it is working. That's weird that's the opposite sort of problem i was expecting normally with these sort of things you get a train coming out even when there's only one in here and it just get puts one in the train the train goes then what the hell am i supposed to do with this but yeah that's that's strange i also don't have as much coming in as i would expect there's plenty here so the problem is obviously somewhere between here and tulip now i know there's a bit of a power shortage on tulip so let's go and have a look at tulip i might need to head out there and do some fixing up down here so why why basically okay so we've got Got 124 in here. That's not very many, is it really? I think I might need to do something about this and have more more ships doing the. Why is it sitting in orbit? What are you doing? Laser sir. Oh, bother! <laughs> he says in the PG uh, family friendly kind of way. La this laser turret is in the way. Don't be there. Boom. Ah, such a stupid problem. So, yeah, this is all because I went down and I... That was quick. That can't have unloaded... Pro oh. Oh, dear. Um, no, that hasn't worked properly at all. So, this is set to take off when... Okay, from there... Ah. Um... Um. <laughs> this is tricky to decide when this should take off. Because um, at the moment it's taking off when this gets to at least um, one, apparently. What? One. I mean, let's at least make that 150. So when you fly in with 5,000, when you fly in with 5,000 Naquitite, I don't know how many Naquium that turns into. Let's find out by setting this to an unrealistic number and then see what it ends up sitting there with when it's done the, when it's done the round trip. So this is, this is annoying, um, but we can sort of work it out. Uh, you guys are presumably waiting to dock to get more fuel. Um, no, why are this? Well, my spaceship seem to have got a bit confused. Why have we got a couple of spaceships sitting up here? Uh, gear off? Because you are you're full of core fragments. 
you're presumably trying to land on Norvis. Yes, you're trying to anchor on Norvis. Is there not room to anchor on Norvis? It wasn't complaining about anything. It was just sitting there going, nope. So it's supposed to land uh, here. What's... No, not here. 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 What's going on? Oh. A stupid has happened. One, two, three, four. So this is a this is a recurring problem. It's interesting that this has ended up like th just like this. So this is something I want to go. I need to go through. It is actually on my list of things to do. So there is a known issue where there is a one in sixty chance of a spaceship taking off whilst the, its trains are only half in or out of the um, uh, out of the spaceship. And when that happens, they get sliced off like this, and it's horrible. So that I can go and fix. Let's go and do that. Um, it is a... No, not you. It is a solved problem, fortunately. Uh, I could go down in that ship, but I'm not going to. Where's my... Uh, personal ship? Is it this? It's been so long since I've done this, I've forgotten which is the ship I actually use for this sort of shenaniganry. Yes, it is this one. So I want to go to Norvis. I suppose I'm going to be brought some stuff. Okay, then, if you must. Right. So, as I say, fortunately this is a solved problem. But what ends up happening is because of lag, I'll actually I'll explain this properly once I get to the ship, actually. That's gonna be gonna be better. Um Yeah, let's land here. Boom. Right. So the way this system works is we've got the combinators up here are watching for how many um how many trains are there in here. Oh, when there's two trains and they've got the expected stuff on them and you're on the right planet, then take off. Unfortunately, because in order to count the trains, I have to go through these combinators. There's a, there's a, um, it takes, it takes a couple of ticks to go through it, and the system checks once every second to see whether it's safe to take off, whether, the, whether the uh, it's suitable to take off or not. So that means that there is a one in sixty chance of the trains taking off, uh, sorry, the spaceship taking off when the trains aren't in a safe position, um, and when that happens, you get this happening and it, it cuts this cuts cuts the ends of the trains off and you then have to go go in and fix it so the solution i've found to get round this is what's that oh okay let's um get rid of those then oops. i just picked up the floor from i can't pick these things up because they're weird parts of the parts of an ltn station oh goodness sake can I put an LTN station into... No. No, I can't. Great. Um, and I bet I've just picked up the spaceship floor from there, haven't I? Yes, I have. Okay, we're just stuck. We're stuck with those, apparently. Great. So, what any... In any way... Any way <laughs> to fix this problem, I need to put in a um, decider combinator. Didn't actually mean to build it. I meant to request it. I've got loads of them. Uh, put that in th there like that then this one is the the input isn't it yes it is so we then wire that not to there but to there what why not are you telling me it's too far away you are I'm not to there. okay looks horrible but it'll do right so what this means is I can then also hook up all of these gates to that as well um, no not to there I need to hook all four of these up what's the best way to do that um, yeah that's going to there anyway so if it, oh, but I can't link that to how did I do it on the other ship where I did it and got it got it right? <laughs> um, is it you? Yes, it's you. Did I link? Did I link to these? I did. I passed it all up here. So we've got the the gate signal on this. Yeah, the gate signal on this one. And they're not actually going anywhere. <laughs> Okay, so the one I the one I thought I'd fixed it on, I haven't actually fixed it on because I got it wrong. Well done there. Um, right. 
Okay. Um, I guess... I don't know. How do, you, how do you get a signal the length of a spaceship without when it's already full, as full of these things as possible? Um, I suppose I could put more of these gates in every couple of spaces, every few spaces down here so I've got something I can link to. I assume that you can't link a cable to a wall, incidentally. No. Oh, add on power poles. That's a good idea. Um, not, not that I have any of those, of course, but I could probably make some. Oh, aeroframe poles and holding cables, that's not too expensive. Yeah, I'm going to have to make some of those. Um, yeah. Because I can't put them anywhere else. Unless, unless I put in a, um, a big pylon and a big pylon down here, but they probably wouldn't have the reach and there isn't room, room to put them in. So yes, I think you're probably right. Add-on power poles are going to be about the only way to do this. Um... But I don't have the ingredients to make them. Um, and I don't think I'm making them anywhere on this planet. So I guess what I'm going to do... <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to read. Not open. <laughs> there we go. Uh, da -ba -da -ba -dum. Can I use these here? No. Use these though. And a blue box. And add-on please. Add-on pole that and it's not in the logistics area oh hassle right are you happy are you going to be happy no there's no aeroframe poles available oh. so this is also going to need to request beryllium which is probably also not going to be around here, because why would it be? Oh no, it's alright, we can get some of that. This is a hassle. <laughs> yeah, because I can't put it on the other one, because I don't want to feed the output of this in back into the input. I suppose I could put in another combinator that just reads, passes through the... Um, All right, let's put in. An, yeah, let's. All right, let's let's do this a different way. Actually, I think because um, the the the, the add-on power poles way is a bit of, is, is a bit of a mess and a bit of an untidy. So what I'm going to do is that to there to there, and you are to read, and you are to read. So let's put it onto here. Um, we then link that to there, and that to there and we say condition if g is greater than zero then output 1g is sufficient actually and here we say if g is equal to zero so as in all the doors are shut then output is equal to everything pass everything through so that means if i walk up here now at the moment, this is passing everything through. Output signals are everything, as you can see. If I go to here, output signal is nothing because it's not passing anything through. And hopefully if I go down here as well, um, output, so output is nothing. Yes, good. So that's, that's, that's working now. We shouldn't have that problem again. So I can now use this train in manual mode. Come back up here. Pretty sure it's G to reconnect the rolling stock. Put it into automatic. Uh, oh, go to core unload. Don't know why it was set to go to core load. Best not to worry about things like that sometimes. Go back up here. And also set that one back to automatic. Get out of it. That will then go away. Another empty train can come round. And this should now start working again. I also need to do the same sort of shenaniganry on the next ship that comes in here to make sure that we, we don't have the same problem again. Clip, blob. Right, so this is one that isn't wired up. So if I go and stand here so that, that opens. Uh, no, that's wrong. If I wire, if I wire this, these up so that they don't... So, what? so they're forced to close. 
then I can have a bit of a little bit of thinking time. Um, I can then disconnect that from there, and I can then do again what I did on the previous one. So it can be two of these, like that, no, like that, and that. And we have a cape, a cable going from here to here, one from here to here and to here, and then one from here to here. That was not what I expected that train to do. Um, okay, that probably doesn't matter though because I've unplugged this. The train isn't the sh spaceship shouldn't go anywhere yet. Um, especially as I'm standing right next to that. Okay, so let's carry on with um, Lawrence's How Not to Play Factorio class. There we go, link that to there and there. That is linked. Oh, that isn't linked in. Oh dear. Have I got it wrong again on the other ship? That actually has to go to there. So it's linked into all the rest of it. And these are read sensor. Read sensor. Um. Okay, so we've got the G's being passed up here now for any open gates and across to here. So now this, this is the one again where we say if there are any G's, then output a G. And this one we say if there are no G's, then output everything. I don't know why that went, because there was an open gate, but this is the one that I got wrong. Uh, so let's put that there. Let's um, unplug that from there for now. So you're getting input signal of a G. Okay. Down here, these are plumbed into there, which is why that wouldn't work. So over here, um, I now need to put in that to there, that to there. You, if there are any Gs. Output a G, uh, one, and U. If the G equals zero, then output the input. Okay, so that that's cor correct now. That's and that gate is open. So yeah, and down here that is is linked to there, but they're all linked up. So that's, that one's all right. So now I can put that cable back in, and the spaceship shouldn't take off this time because there's nothing there's nothing being outputted from there. So the spaceship doesn't take off. I then step out of the way. Door closes. Spaceship can take off again. Right. Any more? Any more on the way in? Apparently not. I don't know if that means I fixed them all or if I haven't fixed them all, <laughs> but we'll just we'll see how it goes. So everything seems to be um, running quite nicely here. As you saw, these trains were passing through here quite quite quickly, unloading all of their core fragments and anything else they're holding into these into these uh, warehouses. The copper and stone is then being passed up the belt here to be filtered out to go into the stations up here where it's where to go wherever it's required. And the um, and the core fragments are all being passed up here to be ground down into more useful things to be passed off everywhere else. So this all seems to be working pretty much as it should. Let's get rid of this belt along here. Uh, this isn't a belt, this is a railway line. But let's get rid of it anyway because I don't need it anymore. It was only there for me fixing a previous screw up. <laughs> There's a piece in there that I'm going to struggle to get rid of. There might be a piece in there, but I can't, I can't see. Okay, so that's good. That, I think, is now probably working as it probably should. Probably. Yes, I'm absolutely certain about this. You can tell. Um, I did make some add-on. Probably made some add-on. No, I didn't make any add-on power poles in the end because I didn't get any of the... I hadn't programmed that up. Maybe we'll use it later. Maybe we won't. I'll just leave it there and ignore it and forget. Pretend it's not there. So that's that problem fixed. Um... Now, has that ship I sent to Tulip that was just going to sit there forever got back there yet? No, it hasn't. What is it doing? What's going on here? Okay, they're trying to, they, those are actually genuinely are trying to land to refuel, so that's okay. Uh, where is the there and neck again? What are you doing? You're sitting there like a some kind of fruitcake. Why are you sitting there like some kind of fruitcake? Oh, it's because I set that to the wrong number. That one should be set to 1500 or something. Why is this game so complicated? <laughs> there we go, set to 1500. 
Um, yes. I mean, I suppose the whole point of the the whole the whole reason I play this game is because it's complicated. Apparently, I like that sort of thing, but uh, uh, sometimes it makes my brain hurt. Hey, welcome back. Thanks, thanks, for, thanks for rejoining. <laughs> um, right. Okay. So the next thing on let's let's have a, have a look at my list. Um, Deep Space Science One I have done, so I'm going to cross that off because it makes crossing things off on my list makes me feel feel good. So I'm going to do that. Deep Space Science One done. Uh, gate signals on spaceships. I think I've sort of done that. that. We haven't had any more land yet since I did that, and um, I'll just get any any more that get broken. I can deal with that. Okay, so beam for gear often. Oh, I didn't do that. That's yes, I know. I know. I know what that's referring to. How is how is gear often doing? I mean, clearly okay because a spaceship just arrived with a massive quantity of um, copper. But no, we are, are we out of power here. Yes, we're out of heat and therefore out of power. Okay, so let's charge that one back up again by going to Kalidus orbit and borrowing the one that's used for the spaceships because that's 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 as hot as it gets. So I'm just going to borrow this one for now, but I do need to go back out there. Um, yeah, so that that that, that kicks that one back in and it starts working again. But I do need to go back out to um, to Kalidus orbit and set up another beamer to just to that's dedicated to this particular that's dedicated to this moon, so we can get this one up and running properly again. Um, so I need to do that. I need to do the water buffer tanks out in Realm of Shadows, which I've talked about quite a few times, but I need to head out there. The problem is I'm kind of resisting doing that because it's a 20 minute flight to get there. Um, oh, Deep Space Science Recycling Station fix, I've done that. Uh, Deep Space Science Canister Production, I've done that. Uh, right, so I need to put in a second heat exchanger on Tulip. So that's a thing that I can, that's a thing I can do without too much difficulty. Let's go to Norvis Orbit, pick up another one of the, um, Pick up another heat exchanger and take it out to um, out to Tulip and uh, and then have, and then put that down out out there. And I don't think there's anything else I need to fix on Tulip at the moment. So this is going to be a there's not there's only only the one reason to go there, but it's a pretty good reason. <laughs> In fact, actually, let's let's do both tasks while with while we're while we're here, or pick up the stuff for both tasks while we're here. So let's get rid of those because I don't need them at the moment for what I'm doing. Um, what I do need. Is I need another beam emitter. I need another beam chamber. I need one of those, thank you. Um, and I need a beam injector. Why do I not have any emitters made? Let's go and investigate that. Oh, and I also need a uh, super turbine thing. Uh, no, super heat exchanger, sorry. High temperature heat exchanger. I need one of those. Um, okay, why do I not have emitters being made? That's, but why am I flying over there rather than shouting with the uh, navsat? I don't know. But over here, oops, overshot. Over here, this one. Oh, I've turned one of the those round so because it was using. <laughs> right, there was a limited supply of the um, superconductive cables, so I turned the ro I rotated the um, doohickey round so that it wouldn't um, put them in places where I didn't want them to go. Now, I think it might be a good idea to put in two of these, now I think about it, because I'm bound to need another one at some point fairly soon. So let's take... Um, let's take two of these. And get another get another one set up and ready to, ready to, be op ready to be, become operational as and when required. So... Um, hello, bots? I mean, I'm standing right next to the things that are producing them, so I could just get the. I don't know why I'm waiting for the bots to bring them to bring them to me, but uh, I need to wait for the other one to be built anyway. So, uh, the other one of these to be built, which means how many of these take? Two hundred, two hundred superconductive cables. That's a lot of superconductive cables. But in the future, this should be less of a problem. Yoink. Is that everything? That's everything. Okay, so and the thing is though, if, if I was going, if I was only going to um, Kalidus orbit, then I could take the other uh, fast ship there. But I'm not. I'm going to. Uh, ooh, do I? Oh, I should take more um, more solar panels with me as well. Um, specifically, how many do I need per thing? I mean, this is this area here is for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them, and I've got. Not in, I haven't got enough. So we've got a thousand for nine. 
So it's about 100 each. So I need, let's take 300 out there with me. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm sure I'm, yes, for that one. 300. <laughs> and, oh, I should probably take some more um, scaffolding as well, really. Uh, keep needing more of that than I have, so I'm going to... Oh, I've already got 1,000, so that's probably... Uh, how many of these did I say? 400. 300 of these. I'm not in an... I'm not close enough to a robot port. Um, 300, and each one is... They're 4x4, four four, aren't they? So that's 16, 32, 48, 480. Yeah, okay. 1,000 should be enough. Uh, oh, they, they arrived quickly. Um... 200, yeah, so that's 300. Okay. Uh, that's a good question. I had, a, I made a mistake earlier where I didn't, so it's possible that is, is that mistake is still there. Let's go, or right, let's go to Kalidus Orbit first. We'll do that one, and then we'll go to Tulip on the way back, and I can have a look at it. Uh, so I can check this out and see, because, yeah, you you could well be right. There was there was a problem. No, I don't. This this is. I was going to say I knew there was a problem where I messed this up at one point, some point in the past, and I couldn't remember whether I'd fixed it or not. So, no, no, they're not all connected. <laughs> Fail. Let's go over and get that sorted out, and then we can um, get it up and running. Uh, get the, get all of these up and beaming at full power, rather than just most of the power. So I've got rather more um, uh, solar panels than I need, but uh, never mind. It just means it's a, bit, it's a little bit future-proofed, and next time I need to go out there and put some solar panel and put some more solar in, or more beamers in, it's just going to work without any issues. Alright. How far is it? Two minutes. Okay. So the thing I've been talking about on Tulip, let's talk about something else while we're waiting for it to fly over there. Or I could hit the uh, the play and advert button in, in uh, Twitch, but that seems a bit rude. <laughs> um, oh, yes, let's check this out. So we've dumped all of this through. All, this is all of the stuff that was in the spaceship. It hasn't actually all been processed yet, so we'll give it a little bit longer, because I want to know how much you get from processing it all. So yeah, the problem I had... Well, this is basically the problem I've got. Um, the system down here that's generating my power turns out one of, one of these requires two of these to provide enough steam for it. So I'm going to need to come out here and shift all of this across a little bit and put in another pipe for that which is quite annoying just to produce the, the just to produce the gigawatt that it's the, that it um, advertises as being able to produce and then once i have that'll allow me to put in um put the ex the extra two uh uh core mining drills back in over here and get a bit more core frag a few more core fragments out but uh until then i can't oh and i can repair this i can oh no this 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 train already no this one's part done this is the one that escaped while i was working through it Oh, that would be why, because this isn't connected up. That's why it flew away, even though I was standing there. Uh, that I can do from here. I said, that I can do from here? Why will it not... Oh, well, never mind. Boop. <laughs> it's always the other end that causes the brakes anyway, so maybe it's, maybe it's actually okay. I'm not sure. 14, 13... <laughs> Nearly there. <laughs> and anchor, we'll we'll drop it in here. This will do. Boop. Okay. First things first. Let's sort this out because this is bloody stupid. <laughs> um. Yeah, so that needs to be there. Basically, it's one, sol one solar panel further across. And, yeah. Uh, that's... Oh, right. That goes there. There we go. Right. So now that'll work. Um, let's... Oh, I can't pick those rocks up very easily. Let's put in more solar anyway, just because I might as well while I'm here. And while I've got all the panels. Uh, I think I've hopelessly got my numbers out for the, um, yeah, that's not, oh, ah, 
<laughs> I hate that sort of thing. Um, in fact, let's do it there. Pick up some of this again, and I can shove that in the gap down the middle. Like this. Some of it, anyway. Not enough. The bots are much better at spotting the gaps than I am. Right, so let's try this again, but with less fail. So we want this on the same height. That goes there. And then we just put down a massive quantity of solar panels. Like that. And down here as well. I didn't even check how many that was, but that's taken out. So I've got less than 100. I've got less than 200 now. So let's put down a good hundred of them, um, which is some. <clears throat> I can't believe I, 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 I. Oh, I need more. Uh, need more of this stuff. Oh, well, I'll pick up all of this. We don't actually need a um, a walkway going across there. I have a have a jetpack for that sort of thing. So pick up all of that and all of this. It's probably going to be enough for, um, for putting down some more, more, um, more, another beamer or two, I think. Right. So let's make this a bit smaller. Oh, actually, let, you know what? Let's be consistent. Take that out as well. Right. I don't need, only need a little one this time. So I'm just going to put in one that size, so that can go. Yeah, there, I think. Still going to be room for another beam on the injector on the other side? Yes, there is. Okay. So that that one is... Oh, it's firing at Miokin. No, fire, actually fire at gear often. Uh, what? Gear... Roffen. There. And then we can set this one to fire back at Norvis Orbit. I can spell. Norvis orbit. Fire. Where is it? It's down here. Fire there. Just keep this ship toasty because this one should be going back and forth a lot more often than it is. As it is, it's got a bit stuck because of the uh, the problems with the um, the Naquium processing there. All right. So that that now keeps that one warm and any other ships that are doing the same run. Okay. Um. I was going was going to put in another one, but there isn't really. I haven't got the. Um, oh, I, I could actually let's pull up some more of this along across the top of here. Because uh, I do want. I, do, I I would quite like to finish this off while I'm here, and have all, have everything running at 100% availability. So I think doing this is probably it's probably worthwhile. Because um, this way, next time I'm next time I'm setting up a a, a um, beam power system on a on a planet somewhere, I won't need to go through the faff of nipping out, having to come out all the way out here to get it, for it, get it set up before I can start beaming. Admittedly, what I am, the problem I am probably going to run into is that none of the, um, is there anything else I set up is probably going to end up using more than the half gigawatt or whatever that makes it through from one of these, one of these systems that's running on just a single, um, beam injector. Oh wait, do you, oh no, no, that's no, alright. I was going to say you need, you need two of them, no, it's, no, it's that the, you need two gigawatts for each one of these. But the first gigawatt is used by the transmitter, not by. You don't need to put two beaming, two beam injectors on there. That's all right. Okay, pull all this up, and that will hopefully be enough to put in another. Oh, just, just do it like that. Do what I mean, not what I said. And they'll put another one of those in there, and that can just sit there, unused and ready, ready for. Off, ready for future use. Right, good. Um, I don't have any more of these with me, do I? No. So how? Oh, let's not fly to fly through the beam. That seems like I don't think it does hurt, but it seems like an incredibly bad idea. Right. Okay. So we're now using 17 of the 19 gigawatts. So I can I can power that one up, and it will presumably if I power that one up, it will then take it to um, the whole lot. But anyway, um, this is now happy, and there is enough power available, and so on. So happy with that. Now let's go to. Tulip. 
that's my next stop. And the nice thing about these ships is because I didn't land here, I didn't use any of this rocket fuel up. So it's, that's that's really really cheap. Well, I said didn't use any. I used small, a very a small amount of it. Um, so I've still got plenty of taking off from Tulip because Tulip's a fairly small planetoid. I think it's a moon. Um, and then I've got loads and loads of ion stream because that goes a very long way unless you're starting to fly outside the solar system. And then it, then you get through it a little bit quicker than you expect to and end up getting stranded, which is very embarrassing. Uh, so yes, that, that'll allow me to get that running. So let's go back to, back to looking at Tulip because I've got this ship up here that is now idle. All of these are, have used up everything in them. How much, and how much have we got in there? 171. So I think... I probably want to set this to 100, set this to 150, and say, and it must have unloaded all of the Naquium. The other way I could do this, actually, is to say must have unloaded all of the Naquium, and that's all. If the Naquium is unloaded, if the, sorry, if the Naquitite is unloaded, then take off to go and get some more, and just assume that in the time it takes to unload this. It will have loaded in everything from the previous run. That might be better, actually. And that way I don't need to worry about this. So, yeah, if we say if we change that to say if Naquitite equals zero, then take off. Now, the risk here is that we might end up with this area being absolutely, this, this system being completely full of Naquitite and it backing up all the way back into the ship. But I think that is almost certainly not going to happen because you've got um, so much uh, because the, the the amount of the amount you bring back shrinks down so much so you unload for every 40 you unload or something like that you end up bringing back about five um, it, 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 I think it's 40 to one without all the productivity modules in there and with the productivity modules in there it's more like um, 15 to one something like that I can't remember the exact numbers but anyway you you end up having to unload a lot more than you're yeah you're putting into it what what's this? Uh, no train. No trains. Oh, okay. All my trains are busy. That's that's all right then. I mean, it's I say it, that's all right. It often means there's been a horrible tangle somewhere. But um, this particular time, no, I think it's just all the trains are busy. Okay, I'm, I'm sort of okay with that. I mean, it, it does mean I should probably make some more trains and make a bigger depot over here and stuff like that. But basically, if if I just run, if I'm just running out of trains and they haven't got themselves into a horrible, horrible, ta horrible, horrible tangle, then it's basically all, things are basically okay. We're getting a good lot of um, uh, core frag core fragments coming through now. This is impressive. I've got obviously got enough um, planets producing the core fragments now. That there's in, that there's sufficient flow to keep everything running. That's quite nice. I I approve of that. Ah, we're here. Anchor on Tulip. Well, I don't actually care about being up here. This is a slow process. It might have been quicker to land and just get out, <laughs> fly over, and then fly back again. No station spam blow, blow sludge. That might be all right. Might not. I'm just hard to say. Over here, somewhere. Right. If we land here, plump. Put that down there. Right. So, I need to move all of this across one square. Which is a bit ridiculous, but never mind. To there. Oh, I should have moved that pump as well. <laughs> uh, pimp. Like that. And an underground pipe like that. Oh, I've lost the settings on it. Yeah, uh, that's annoying. I should have copied, copied some paste slightly more, is basically what I'm trying to say. So pass that over there like that. And I want you to pump when water... Water. Water is less than... 20,000, I guess, because it's connected to all of them. Um, I need that to go like that. Um, oh. I don't have any pipes. Oh, can I use space pipes on the ground? Yes, good. Right, that's all happy again. That's that's running. That's so you should be hot. Yes, you are. Right, so this should now be capable of producing all the energy I want. Um, should all be should all be fine now. So if I look back, if 
I look back over the last 10 minutes, so... Uh, Oh. <laughs> that got slightly too far apart, goodness. Um, right, okay. So this now, I'm expecting... Yes, there we go. That spike there has gone. We've got the... Oh, that's the Meteor Defense installations charging up. That's sort of fairly normal. Um, given that we were so short of power before, I was expecting this to rocket straight up to way higher than anything than it was before. But it doesn't really seem to have done that. We, we had a peak of 681 megawatts before, and now we're producing 186 megawatts. Why is nothing using power? Oh, is it because this is all this is all gone to sleep because it's not needed at the moment? And are these asleep? Yes. <laughs> okay. So it's 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 stalled. It's not using any power because everything is everything is idle at the moment. Okay, that's fair enough. So when the spaceship comes back, a lot of this will kick back into action again. Uh, when, hang on, this should be run. Oh no, because we need to do something with the green when it's coming out. Okay. Okay. So when the um, the there and knack again comes back, well, that, we should see a bit of action from it. Um, what are you up to at the moment? So you're loading up. Okay, good. It's loading up with Naquitite again. So that's 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 as expected. That seems to be working. Seems. But <laughs> I'm cautiously optimistic here. And, and, and of course that's unloading this spaceship as well. Now what I want actually is I want to make a copy of this ship. An identical one. So I've got two of the ships doing the same route. Because I think currently it could be could be better. We could have, if we had two ships doing this route, I think we'd have a better throughput. Because I think this is probably the um, the sticking point in the in the uh, in the system. Um, how are you getting? How are you getting on with filling up? Uh, fairly close. The problem, po possibly part of the problem, is that I'm filling it filling it up with a single um, single belt, filling with a single belt, emptying with a single belt. Or the emptying is less of a problem because, as I said earlier, there's so much less. Um, Naquium. It might be worth considering coming over here and shoving in and having this go as a 3 to 2 balancer and then putting twice as much in. Um, putting it in twice as fast. I don't know. Right, let's, but let's build another ship there. Is that inside? It's not quite inside the bot catchment areas. Ah, oh, fiddles. So we're going to get a little top corner that isn't going to get built, and that's going to just break everything. Um, how am I going to deal with that? So you are... I could put this here, but that wouldn't help. Put it here, that wouldn't help at all. I need it to be up... I need it to be up here somewhere, but not joining onto that robot port. So I need... Yeah, I need one there. And I need one about... Whatever the distance is down from that in order to link into all of this. So can I put one here? Would this be close enough? Let's find out. Uh, not this much. Uh, so that comes down to there. This would come up to... No, they wouldn't meet. Yeah. I need, to, I need to put another one in over here as well. <laughs> These things are never easy. <laughs> Still, at least that's getting built. Or not. <laughs> bots Using bots is always an exercise in frustration because they, they there's just so much sort of faff with them not going to quite where they want to. Um... There we go. Put this, so put that in there now. That should be enough. Why is Twitch telling me I've got one one something? Is it something I need to say hello and thank you for? Oh, I've achieved the Empire Business um, achievement. What does that mean? That means it means I have to wait for the page to load. Okay, we'll wait. Until, we'll find out in a moment. Oh, it hasn't put. Oh no, it is. It is doing it there. Okay, that's all right. thought for a moment it wasn't going to put the um, the f spaceship flooring in around uh, where there was a rock underneath but then it, it is, that's okay. So now that's, is that all there? Yes it is. I can put that in. 
and then everything and then the bots will fly in build the whole ship for me and it'll be ready to go i hope that's the theory anyway we shall see if it actually happens quite the way it should <laughs> uh the spaceship is currently sitting there going nope i'm not a spaceship i should probably actually um go in here and disconnect that from there so it doesn't go anywhere without my permission. Um, I'll, do, I'll, I'll fix that when it's once the ship is actually built and ready. And I find out that we've got no, space walls and ohm. Uh, are there no warehouses? Maybe there aren't any warehouses. That's annoying. Um, I guess I'd better head back over there and actually be able to build finish that ship off properly because if there aren't any warehouses, it's not going to get built. Um, okay, so I've done what I needed to do down here on Tulip. This is all now running happily, I think. Um, the ship hasn't landed here, but it's probably all right. Let's have another quick look at the power graph thing. Yeah, so we haven't had another spike. This this spike from the core mining drills running, and that will go even higher now. Now as it can, and we won't get these flat patches as well. So that should yeah, that should be should be good. Right, let's get back to Norvis orbit and sort that build that ship that I'm absolutely failing to build at the moment. I thought it'd be nice and easier just to be able to drop it in there and it would, you know, just work as these things are supposed to. But no, that'd be far too helpful, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, oh, the net there and knack again is on its way to Tulip at the moment, so that's okay. It's not going to get. I've got plenty of time to fix it up, fix the uh, thing the system before it uh, before it gets there. Uh, fix the other ship before it gets there is what I'm trying to say. So right, that ship. There we go. It's landed here. It's unloading all of the Naquium. No, Naquatite. That one's Naquatite, the, uh, the ore, as expected. So this will empty of all of the Naquatite, and then the spaceship will just take off again. But while it's gone, <coughs> all of the processing facilities over here should run merrily and produce a quantity of Naquatite. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, so how, how, how are we doing? It's only a single... Again, it's the it's the only unloading on a single belt, which is slightly wasteful. Um, but without a bit more of a redesign, there's not much I can do about that. And to be honest, I'm not getting through the Naquium that quickly at the moment, because I've only got one science pack that's actually using it. Um, uh, and in, in the future, yes, the, the the demand will go up a bit, and I might need to improve the uh, I might need to improve the throughput, maybe put some trains in. Um, ha, that's something I could do actually. It'd be a fairly major redesign, but I could bring trains full of Naquium from um, Realm of Shadows back to back to Norvis orbit, and then load the trains onto another spaceship to land them on the on the planet and unload there. Um, is that a good design? I'm not really convinced because oh yeah, the reason the reason I didn't do that is because the Naquatite ore is so undense. That the the amount you'd you'd hardly get any naquium from a train's worth of naquatite. Right here we are. Let's see. Do I not have any? There's there is a random. I mean that's clearly an inventory dump. I'm just going to pick that up. There we go. <laughs> I'll fly over and see if I can use it. See if I need to use it to make that spaceship, or whether the bots have managed to find a, a warehouse to use for it. They have not. Either that, or they're just being a bit incompetent. Oh, I haven't... Oh, there's no power for this one. That's why it's not working. Ah. All right, that's fair enough, then. I um, should have realised that the RoboPorts would need power. You've got power. Why are you not powered? Why are you sad? Oh, it's, it is charging up just slowly. Are we short of power? Why is that charging so slowly? We've got loads of power. Oh, well. Don't care. Hey, Mike and Mike. Um, <laughs> there's um, there's a still an hour or so of stream left, so you've not missed all of it. Um, welcome welcome to, the, to it slightly belatedly. I will upload the VOD to YouTube once um, once I'm allowed to in inverted commas. Once Twitch will let me, because the uh, the rules are that you're not allowed to um, you're not allowed to put your video somewhere else until 24 hours has passed. So I'm trying to be a little bit good. And also, I had some technical issues on uh, on Monday trying to stream to both YouTube and Twitch at the same time. So I've um, Abandoned that for now. We'll, we shall see how that goes, though. 
Right, so I should probably give this a different name. Uh, oh, uh, I should call it, okay. Again, no. again. I can't type, there we go. There and knack again, again. Because <laughs> um, it's the second one doing that route, so I've given it a, a SQL, SQL type name. Um, and I don't mean I'm using it as a database. Yes, it does feel a bit wrong to pronounce um, SQL as SQL. I think it's the Microsoft way. Right, so this won't work until there's 400 in it. So I need I need a spaceship to bring some Naquium back. And it's going to be a little while until one does, because that one that's out on Tulip at the moment, I say at the, out on Tulip at the moment, it's probably left. Yes, it has. We've got the Naquium flowing around here now. Um, <laughs> I'm just being loaded up onto this belt, weirdly. Um, so this isn't going to go anywhere yeah, the, the, the ship that's going, coming back, they're there and knack again, but not again. Um, it's pretty much going to have basically no... Yeah, it's got, it's got not got any in it. But the next one that goes out will come back with some, um, some Naquium in it because there'll be the stuff from this ship waiting for it. So it'll pass it across and it'll get loaded up properly. Why is, why is this sat here? Oh yeah, of course, it's the new ship. Okay, good. Right, I'll just carry on. I'll, I'll carry on as, as as normal then. Right, so I, I, the new ship needs that linking across there, so it actually... No, that's to there. There we go. So it'll leave. Go on, shoot. Right. It might not. We shall see. Um, but I can always make another, a second copy of the big Naquium ship as well if I need to. Yeah, I've been having some various internet issues today, which is extremely frustrating because it's a stream day. But I mean, it'd be, it'd be a bit a bit frustrating any time. But it was, yeah, it was cut. I was, I was supposed to be on a training course with work today, and um, and it was just my internet connection was wobbling all over the place. So um, teams kept dropping out, and that was extremely annoying, as I'm sure you can imagine. Um, what was I saying? I was doing something over here. Um, <laughs> um, oh yeah, I, I was saying that um, yes, Twitch stores your st your streams for longer if you're a um, if you're if you're a partner, the higher level, higher tier of um, of Twitch user, um, but it, um, more less time if you're not. I I'm not I'm, I don't I couldn't say about what the um, about storing the vods for longer. I don't I don't I'm, I'm not sure exactly what the what the, uh, the the rules and things are for that. So yes, as we said, I saw. I've, oh yes, I was saying that um, yeah, one of these Naquium ships they'll they'll. They, they, they basically bring back the Naquitite. They bring back the Naquium that's made from the Naquitite the previous ship took out there. So, um, so yeah. And I was wondering why the, um, why the, why the production of the um, Deep Space Science had stopped over here. And it turned out it was because my Naquium supply had, had run out. Um, and so that's why I went off and gave the ship. The ship's a bit of a kicking and was having a look at those. And that's why this has stopped, despite there being loads of everything. And these tanks now being nice and full. Good. So, um... Yes, I'm now waiting for Naquium to be brought. And that's going to be that's going to be a little while, because as we've seen with the, um, the map here, we've got the, um... So it's probably... That one is heading out... That one is, is heading out with a load of Naquitite. There's presumably the ship landed on Okay, where is the oh the there and knack again is sat, sat here. What? Oh, it's on its way, its way out. Right. Okay. So I've got quite a long wait because I need to wait for this ship to get to Tulip and unload all of its um, naquitite. And while it's doing that, it will also load up all of the naquium that's made it that's been made, and then it'll fly back round again. And once that happens, then we can start making 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 the science. But I think in the meantime, what I'm going to do is get one of my trains from here go over here and pick up all of this um, and bring it up to here no here um, in order just in order to get things going and you know for a bit of a sort of a, a bit of a test just to make sure everything looks like it's running properly and potentially if I bring a thousand um, data a thousand catalogs up here and turn them all into science then maybe it'll work well enough for that to uh, that that'll be that'll last long enough for the science the system down here to get the naquium it needs and to make the make the next trains load that it, that it requires blum, 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 blum. i'm also going to rename all of these stations because they've got horrible names at the moment like foxtrot 5 which makes no sense at all um 
DS is Catalog 1 pickup. Uh, what are you? Your Deep Space Science drop off 2. And DSS drop off 1. And DSS fluid drop off. <laughs> I might need to stick a one in there later. Oh, <laughs> all right. This one's DSS top off, drop off three then, I guess. <laughs> yes, good numbers there. And DSS thermofluid drop. Okay, so those have now all got sensible names. Uh, let's turn names on a bit. And I'm going to spend a minute or two going around um, renaming these. So what's, what's this? This is um, uh, probe drop off one. Probe drop off two. Oh, fine. They've got different names. It's close enough. I know what they. I know what they mean. Um, so that will be probe. Pr probe part drop off three. Um, solar probe data pickup and um, aster asteroid probe data pickup. There we go. Oh, Twitch is still not happy. Um, can't. Oh, there, there we go. Now I can see my own stream. Okay, so that seems to be working. Uh, do, 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 do. Why is that called a Styrian? What is what is this? Um, oh yes, this is. Um, DSS Science Park drop off one. Um, okay, that's that seems to be covered there. All right, so now we should have, not here, uh, here. Yes, we've got all of these catalogs coming along here. One side the belt, going up to oh. <laughs> I didn't re reprogram that. Uh, where am I? I'm here. Okay, let's. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna f I'm gonna fly over there to. What are those bots doing? Okay, they bring me air, uh, air purifier doohickeys. Right, I'm going to fly over there to fix this because I need to pick up the excess that's all gone up the wrong belt. Um, yeah. <laughs> There's always, always something else that needs to be tweaked before these things work properly. <laughs> uh, right. Oop. And it's just over here, isn't it? Yeah, that one there. That should be um, Deep Space Science Catalogs 1. There we go. I'm just Now it'll just pass them all happily through. Them. Oop, they've gone both ways. Oh, they've gone all the way around there as well. Actually, that's not so much of a problem. I can just shove them back in the um, in the chest in the station and let them, um, let them find their own way back out again when they're needed. It does intrigue. It interests me a little bit how I've made this to be um, expandable, so I can put in more of the um, <clears throat> uh, more of all of the machines for building the science packs if I want to. But I've not actually needed to, and I I suspect I probably won't because they do seem to build them fast enough. Right there we go. So we've got the deep space science packs coming along there. So I now need to run that along here to run down with probably with these belts over here. So let's um, let's do that. So I need to go from here. This will need to be too wide eventually. So let's go too wide straight away. Up an arbitrary distance. And over here, it's presumably, yes, it's these two. Oh, no. Uh, oh, well. <laughs> this goes over this way like this. And like this. It joins onto there. Get rid of all this. Get rid of. Oh, stupid thing. Right. Um, stupid not being able to put blueprints down where you can. Oh, those things down where you can't see them. But anyway, this needs to then come all the way down here like this. And we'll feed it in around here. And I'll come over and sort the logic of that out hand, by, by hand. That should be easy enough. Jetpack. We. And then that fails miserably because those gap that gap is too far for it to jump. In fact, let's let's do this the easy way. Let's get rid of this. 
then we can just do that. Um, not you, not you either, actually. And then we'll put the other one in as well, just 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 to get that up and running. So it's just ready ready for when we um, manage number three or number four. And this can go down here, thusly. At risk of sounding like um, what's the name? Another another YouTuber. <laughs> Come on, bots! I can't have run out of power. I've got a huge amount of power generation in my suit now. All the way down here, like this. Right. Okay. And th and then. We look across here and we say, yes, these are presumably going to have to be two. I need to make sure I get these. Oh, I don't need to make sure. Well, I don't know. I do need to, I do need to make sure this is all correct as I set it up. So, um, so I want the tier. Why are all these going up for the tier? Oh, because I've gone one, two, three, four in a downwards way. Okay, so this one I'm going to do the other way around, just to be awkward and just to be, just to be funny and just to make just to confuse myself later. So that one I'm going to have those come out to that side. So we'll pass these through here like this. They'll come all the way through. They'll be put into this box. So are you a filtered one? No, you're just blacklisted. So you aren't going to be doing that. You're going to be passing out those the tier the uh, tier one deep space sciences. So those should now just flow through here as they as and when they're ready. Uh, you see they're, they're going down there already. They're going to here. So they'll now get mixed in with all the rest of the stuff going around the sushi system. And they'll come back around here. There's a couple of them. And then we should see them drop out. Yes, like that. Like this. Coming, coming through here. And then they can be passed around and they'll go back through again. Lovely. <laughs> yeah, science per minute. I, I don't even know what science per minute I'm doing at the moment. I I could have a look actually. Let's, let's, fi let's find out. Um, I mean, I'm not doing any science at the moment, but I could look up um, pack, uh, go back about 10 hours, see what it see what it peaks at at least. Um, for some reason, railway is showing that's that's track, not pack. Silly thing. Um, but oh, I don't know which of these rockets. I think rocket science goes into everything. Oh, but none of these things are used. You don't get the same sort of using up absolutely everything thing as you do with um, Norvian sciences but anyway I peaked at 160 science per I don't know is that science per second I'm not sure but there is there is a definite peak visible peak there can I select multiple things yeah I'd say this is probably the level I'm, I'm, I'm doing about um, 91 that's yes yeah, presumably 91 science per minute uh, I think um, Hey, Arctic Void, I'm not on YouTube for two reasons. Um, well, two and a half reasons. One of them is because when I tried to stream to YouTube on Monday, it didn't work. Uh, or when I tried to stream to both on Monday, it didn't work. So I sort of gave up a little bit <coughs> um, and just went 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 for Twitch because that's the sort of the one I'm trying to push most at the moment. Um, the, the other reason is because according to Twitch's terms of service, I'm not really supposed to Twitch stream to both of them at the same time if I want Twitch to actually give me any money at any point ever. So I, I thought maybe I should probably try and sort of at least obey the rules a little bit. The additional half reason um, is because I seem to be having some internet problems today and if I have... Um, if I, if I, and and uh, YouTube is far worse at resuming streams than Twitch is, so that's so that would be, um, yeah, it would have been a lot more of a headache if I if I tried to do it on on a, or at least it wouldn't have been for me, but it would have been a headache for you for if, I, if I've been trying to do it on Twitch, on on YouTube as well. Um, yeah, one point, one point, uh, yeah, no, well, sorry, let's have a look at that product product production again. Um, packs hour. 10 hours. One point. Uh, yeah, so we're doing 90, 90 per. I assume that's 90 per minute. Um, although I have to admit, I'm not sure. Or is it 91 per second? No, it can't be 91 per second. That's crazy. It might be 91 per hour, actually, since I'm on the hour scale. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, let's, let's, let's assume it's 91 per hour. Um, because that seems a seems a reasonable number. So as you say, about 1.2 per minute. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'll I'll, I'll um I will be release. I'll certainly be releasing the vod on on YouTube tomorrow or the day after. So you'll be able to, you'll be able to watch it rewatch it if you want to. Um, I will have to consider consider just just going back to streaming on both and turning a blind eye to it and see if I can. <laughs> 
Um, rocket reusability. I am at a level of boom. Reusability 64%. Um, so I'm getting about two thirds of two thirds of my rockets back. I think that's that, no, it's still not quite as good as SpaceX. <laughs> um, except possibly by length of rocket. I've sort of stopped because rocket production is relatively cheap now uh, at this point in the game, and I'm sort of gradually moving away from using rockets. But I do have a crazy, crazy number of rocket parts on uh, sitting down on Norvis, waiting to be passed through into the system. Um, up wherever it is I'm making them, which is, sorry to throw the camera around all over the place, I hope you're not getting too seasick. No, it's not here. Here, this one. I've made crazy, crazy numbers of rocket parts. Um, and they're happily just, just sitting there, really. Um, so I don't care very much about rocket reusability because I have so many rocket parts. Um, and I've got better things to research, really. Um, survivability, re reusability 12 would be 4,000 science packs. So, I mean... I could do it. It'd be a good way of finding out how fast my science system runs, although it's using more than some of the ba fairly basic sciences, so it's less, it's a bit less interesting with that. Especially when I could go in and research um, bigger spaceships like this one. So let's let's have the, let's have Factory Starship One because I definitely want that. Um, I'm going to need Naquium cubes for actually. Let's let's do that first because I'm going to need these for the next um, next tier of research and shenanigans. I can make faster robots, better weapons. Um, Port ooh, port another portable fusion reactor. Presumably that's a tier three version of it. Oh no, no, it's it's a it's a fusion reactor as opposed to the uh, RTG systems I was using before. That makes more sense. Uh, I could get better mining productivity. Ooh, strength and intelligence, constitution, agility. Yeah, though, though, some of those are worth having. But I think that one and then this one are going to be my first choices. Um, flammables don't really care. Jetpacks. Mm, Aquium Exceling Cumulus don't care. Flat solar panels could be even better solar panels could be nice. How much do these generate? 1.6 megawatts compared to 800 kilowatts. So they're twice the that's probably not worth having because it's twice the um twice the power generation, but it requires a load of Naquium and superconductor cables and flat solar panel too. So that's probably not worth the cost, unless except perhaps in spaceships, um, because they're um, because they're uh, going to be much more useful in there because of the efficient the space efficiencies. Hello, Al, and um, and and all his peoples. Uh, thank you for thank you for raiding you. So that, that's excellent timing actually because I've I've just got just come out of having internet problems, so things are now working again properly. <laughs> oh dear. And yes, you've just come through to see me start using the um, t the first my, doing my first um, research involving the uh, Deep Space Science Pack One, um, and those are being gradually built over here as is traditional. Um, bum 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 up here. Yes, so this is this is chugging away and making those science packs. Do these take longer to make than the other ones do? Uh, 60 second crafting time compared to um, 30 second crafting. Yes, they do take they take twice as long, so which doesn't surprise me really. Everything on this tier is is that bit harder so I'm not I'm not really surprised and I suspect I'm going to spend so much to I but I don't think it's too much of a problem because I'm going to spend so much time building up all of the infrastructure required to, to start doing um, deep space science 2 down here the and trying to get all the um, the naquium being passed built and passed through at a sufficient rate it's probably not going to matter too much um yeah, you, whoever it was who predicted these um, spaceships, this, this, the big spaceship here not being sufficiently, not being um, enough to keep the two of these running was quite right. Um, where is it? Nope, must be somewhere interstellar. Uh, there it is. It hasn't even got to the other end yet. Oh, blimey. Okay, yes, the second one of these might be... Might be um, a bit required then. So let's take a copy of that. Um, am I still here? Yes, I am. Um, try and paste it in over here. Uh, where does this fit? That fits there, okay. Let's put that there. And then we can just build an entire new spaceship for, uh, <laughs> for the new system. And uh, now the question is, is this going to get enough RoboPort coverage? And of course not, because if it did, that would be helpful. Oh. 
I've got this really awkward thing going on up here where I've got this roboport that needs to load stuff into the ship, but I need and therefore I need it and I need it to be separate from the rest of the roboport networks. And that means that when I try and build something like this, it just doesn't work. I suppose what I could do. Yeah, let's head over there. I'll do this bit manually. I'll temporarily slap down another um, another roboport to get that built and then pick it up again and pull all the robots out of it and just make sure everything has worked pro reasonably properly. Uh, yeah, this Naquium stuff is uh, kind of pricey and kind of awkward. Oops, it's a spaceship. Let's not fly into the spaceship. It still bugs me a little bit that you can fly over absolutely anything in this game except for a spaceship. A spaceship for some reason is infinitely tall and therefore it just doesn't work. So if I put that there, then we'll be able to get enough coverage to build up the far co top corner of this spaceship. He says, waiting for bots. Come on, bots. Come on, little bots. Build me a spaceship. Or build me a spaceship floor plan. Then once that's done, like so, I can then put in all the rest of it. Like that. Oh, oh yeah, and I should do the... Um, I should do the unplugging the um, <laughs> that from there, so that the spaceship doesn't leave all by itself. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine it's yeah. I've got a, I've got a couple of areas of that on. Um, I think I'm doing it doing it up here. Yeah, I've got a fuel depot here that's using these for the, for the bigger area, bigger storage capacity, as you say. But it's tucked between two spaceships pretty much all the time, so it ha that hasn't been a problem. But yeah, on um, on Asalia, my oily moon where the the, the uh, spaceship the fuel is being made, it's quite a lot more annoying because that does just have that every single time. Uh, no, sorry, it would be more annoying if I spent more time on Asalia because I would, as you say, just keep flying into it probably. Right, so this is. Ah, this, this is good. This is now cooking this up to suitable temperature that it'll be able to leave. So I can't send the spaceship anywhere until I've got this up to temperature. Um, everything else is fueled up pretty quickly. We've got... These are nearly half full. These are as full as they're going to get, pretty much, because I don't believe in... I don't want to make them completely full because then you get the water throughput problem. Um, I hope this is getting the signal passed through. Oh, it must be because otherwise it wouldn't run at all. Um, we've got enough warehouses this time, so that has worked. That's nice. We're loading in the um, oh, sulfur and iron, and we've got enough of those now, so that's that's all loaded. Um, we are genuinely just waiting for this to cook up, and it's at 300 degrees. So this is going to take a while. I forgot I forgot how long this would take to get up to temperature. <laughs> These things are always a bit slow, though. It takes takes a, takes a while after building one for them to get um, get nice and toasty. Oh yeah, radar construction pylon. Maybe I could. Um, yeah, maybe. I'm I'm not familiar enough with the um with the ra radar construction pylons to be sure about exactly. I mean, I've used one here, um, but I'm not sure about. How, I'm worried it would link to things that it would probably still link to this roboport. I think. Although. Yeah, so I think that will probably break. Um, I have I have various opinions on Tesla and SpaceX. Um, SpaceX especially are doing some incredibly interesting stuff, and um, I'm very much a fan of it. Um, Elon Musk himself, less of a fan because he's a bit of a <laughs> not such a nice not. So, yeah, he, let's just say he puts his foot in his mouth a bit too often and seems to have some um, unfortunate um, opinions. Oh no, don't put that there; it'll cause the ship to not be able to take off. Um, Tesla are doing... They seem to make some incredibly nice cars, although they're a bit out of my price bracket. <laughs> okay, if the construction range is that much bigger than connection range, that might be quite suitable. So yeah, having one of those in here somewhere would be quite good. But I don't know how often I'm going to be building up these spaceships. We may get to the point where we've got enough of them fairly soon. Or I might end up having a steady stream of half a dozen of these shuttling back and forth. Um, and that is why... Um, that's why I've got them all sort of pow being powered up, powered by a heat thing here and just being charged up by it. Um, because that way I can just have one beam going at the same place and just powering, pa charging them all up as they get back. And that does work, does seem to work quite nicely, I think. Actually, let's check. Um, uh, because I haven't actually checked this to see how it's temperature holding. Yeah, that's still at 9,700 degrees. So, although it was sat in orbit for a long time, so I don't know for, for sure that it 
would have been okay if it had just been there for as long as it takes for it to unload. I guess we'll find out as time passes and we see if one of these gets stranded somewhere and then I feel very embarrassed. <laughs> Why are you not loading up with these? Uh, oh, right. Oh, okay. I need to go out and program this up and oh, other stuff. Okay. Uh, let's make a note of that on my to-do list because that is a thing I've just quite simply not done and uh, had forgotten about completely. So, um... Uh, DSS data, uh, probe data, probe data loading in ROS logic needed. Right, okay, so I think what I was planning to do with this was put in a. I think I was going to put, yes, I was going to put in a receiver here that would be connected to this pylon and to, and to these. Um, the, the, to this bit, this bit of belt here, so it would only pass stuff through to fill this uh, strong box up, if there was lots of room at this end to dump these down down here. So basically, if this was less than 2,000 apparently, um, and at the moment it is way over that, uh, that 2,000 is probably not. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, there's room for quite a lot more here. So. Let's see. They they go 50 to a stack, so that's uh, 500. Yeah, so 2,000 is a train's worth. Um, so if there's less, yeah, so if there's less than 2,000, that will go negative, and we bring out another strong box worth, which is how how, how much do you get in a strong box? Um, how many stacks? Um, 96. Okay, so yeah, each time it run, each time it runs out and there's less than a train load, this will bring back just over two train loads worth. So that seems reasonable. Why are you flashing at me? Are you trying to leave and are struggling? Why is launch disabled? What is happening? What is going on here? So the ship is loaded and therefore should be should be departing. But it seems to be throwing a wobbly. Why is launch disabled? Oh, no, it's trying. It thinks it's at its destination. What? What is going on here? Answer on a postcard? Um. So the hull stress is, is okay. Is there a hole in it? No, no, it says integrity status is valid. Uh, no, there's this. That should be able to launch. Oh, launch energy. Oh. 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 <laughs> Crap. Um, hmm. That's problematic. I'm going to have to go out there and fix it, basically by putting another one of these tanks in on the other side. That's irritating. And the tank would have it, well, it obviously had enough to launch from the other end. Um, right. Oh, unless launching from Realm of Shadows is harder than launching from Norvis Orbit? Um, that's weird. I was not expecting that to be a problem. I mean, Presumably, it can be fixed by doing that. Uh, eventually, once another one wants the ability to place another one there. Um, but because then there'll be twice as much energy available. But yeah, I'm surprised that's an issue. Yeah, that's what I thought. And okay, let's have a let's have a look at this spaceship over here that I'm building. Um, this one says launch energy thirty. Yeah, thirty. Oh, possibly what happened was when it launched, this tank emptied, and then on the other one, it's filled up again from these tanks, uh, but it hasn't managed to fill this up completely. So, what I could do if I had room, which I don't, <laughs> would be to put a pump in to make sure this is always full. Um... But there isn't room to do that because the ship is kind of cramped. If I put that there. Right, how about this? Put that there. Pick up that. And that. And put. And that. And all of this. 
then we put in where was that booster tank that goes here with a pump here and then this goes around like this and then we put in another two of these tanks like this so there'll always be enough ion stream to launch and these will fill up and give me enough to fly around like a like uh, as as in in this in this custom to which I've become accustomed, in the style to which I've become accustomed. So now we can fill those back up again. Yeah, I think that should be all right. Okay, uh, that does mean I can't do anything with the uh, with this until I go over there. I possibly oh that's point stress stress. No, stress has gone over because I put in too many, too many tanks. Tanks make it worse. Oh, now... Oh, no, that's all right. Okay. <laughs> this is why I want this factory spaceship research, so I can stop titting about on the very edge of what I can do with a spaceship. Oh. Right, so this is going to be okay, I think. We just take, It just takes 10,000 ion stream to launch. That's quite a lot of ion stream. Um, but okay. Isn't it? Oh yeah, you're right, thank you. Um, so I need to do that, and that should now be, o that should now be okay. Some emphasis on should. Um, let's send it on its way and see what happens. Obviously it's not going to be, it isn't going to work, because it's not going to land at the other end, but, uh, put it there. Why are you trying to go to Norvis orbit? You should be getting signals telling you to go else other places. Oh, because it's automatic. Oh, all right, go go to Norvis orbit. Let's see what happens. Oh, good point. Yeah, it won't have any power yet. But it should be should be okay to disappear and reappear. Where's it gone? Ah! <laughs> Warbler. Um, Doc, please. <laughs> what are you doing? You're supposed to do that this automatically. Why is this all wrong? Is it there? I don't know. Ah. <laughs> no, it's in the wrong place. Goodness sake. Why didn't it anchor automatically? Oh, we need a strong box to go in there. So it's, still, it's not actually finished anyway. What I should have done is zoomed out a bit like this and gone, uh, is, it, is, it, is the ship complete? And I'd have gone, no, it needs a strong box. Let's make us. Make it a strong box, which is that one. Oh, a can. Oh, that's nice. Plonk. Um, now when I look on the map, yes, it is a complete ship. Right. Um, yeah, this is not hot enough. So, But that, sh that shouldn't have been the reason it wasn't launching. I mean, it's a reason for it not to launch now. I need to keep it here for a bit longer. Um, but, um, yeah, I don't know why it didn't launch when I expected it to. Oh, well. We'll find out. If worst case, I can do the, I can run this one manually for the first trip, and then worry about why it's not working when it's because I know you have to you have to launch them manually the very first time. Um, so it might be decent to do with that. Okay, while that's cooking, I'm going to press the. Roll. There we go. I'm going to get in the uh, the long distance ship, and I'm going to fly out. To, oh, I'm going to take a booster tank with me because no, I'm not because I don't decided I didn't want a second one. I'm going to do it differently. I'm going to get in my long-range ship, fly all the way out to... Where is my long-range ship? Oh, it's over there. Um, fly all the way out to Realm of Shadows and get that sorted. Because that's a... Having a ship stranded there is not going to help with my Naquium supplies. So, go to Realm of Shadows. <laughs> Alright, Al. Good night. Uh, sleep well, etc, etc. Tomorrow, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow's Thursday, yes. Um, yeah. Good luck. Good, good luck with feeling better. <laughs> yeah, I've got um, busy day tomorrow. I've got work and a training course in the afternoon, and then off for um, auditions in the evening. So that's going to be a, a busy day and a sort of st somewhat somewhat stressful, probably. But oh well, we'll see how it goes. Right, so it's going to take me 13 minutes to get to Realm of Shadows. That's quite a long time, but what can you do? In the meantime. Um, what else? What else is going on? What else needs looking at? Tulip, how are things going here? We've got a bit of 
Got a little bit of naquitite here, naquium here, but not very much. Um, I don't know why there's just a little bit there. That's kind of weird. Oh, because the processing is currently running, that's why. So we were just gradually building it up. Presumably because the ship has left fairly recently. So that's good. That might mean there's going to be some... Um, One thing I noticed was looking at the um, looking at these tanks, they've all dropped down by 3,000 because this has taken 10,000 to fill it itself back up again. So it seems like this is just the amount that's needed to launch, at least launch a ship of this size from, from well, wherever. Okay, so that's basically okay. We've got, we've got, we've got the Naquitite shortage here, as we, uh, as we all know. Waiting for this to toast up to 5,000. It's halfway there now, so still some way to go there. Um... I'm not sure what to get on with next, really, because at the moment I'm obviously flying across the um, flying across the star systems. Um, there's still a good nine and a half minutes left to get out there, so it's going to be a while till I can actually get out there and fix that broken ship. Did I bring? Oh, did I bring? Please tell me. I've got, yes, I've got lots of water tanks, so I can fix that up, and I've got. And I've got the receiver, signal receiver, so I can fix the other thing. Yes, good. So I did bring all the things out I need with me. I need in order to finish off those, uh, finish off the things I need to do in Realm of Shadows. <laughs> Goodness for that. I do also have some mechanical facilities, so I should, could start crunching the um, the Naquitite out there as well. But I think I've decided at the moment to decide to. Um, I think I basically decided at the moment that I'm going to carry on bringing the Naquitite as Naquitite rather than crushed Naquitite. Uh, because it's, it, it, I can put in more spaceships, and that way I still get the full productivity bonuses out of it. Um, yeah, Arctic Void, yes. Uh, stream did break, but it should be back now. <laughs> yes, yeah, so yeah, stream did did, did break because internet problems, basically. Um, would fill a glow I suppose that's true. Yes, um, <laughs> it's a bit, a little bit off topic for a space exploration stream. But since I've got some time to kill, then yeah, that's, it's a good point. I could have, um, I probably could have stuck a little piece of wood onto the end of it and then cut it down to the right size. That might have been, f for the size of um, problem that it was, it was only sort of a millimeter and a half across, I think. Um, the wood filler was sort of okay, but yes, trimming, gluing on another piece of wood would pro would would have been better. <laughs> and for anyone who doesn't know what I'm talking about, you need to check out the. Um, uh, Lawrence plays with power tools videos on my YouTube channel. <laughs> What's in all these boxes? Ooh, more useful stuff. Nice. Okay, how? Uh, still seven minutes. Okay, let's. I need 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 to talk about something else. So down on Tulip. So this is this is the sort of thing I was talking about with the um, the processing. So we 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 get we're churning through all of the naquium, the uh, naquitite that got left behind on the last trip. It seems to be a bit slow, actually. Why is none of this working? Uh, oh, we've got a vitalic acid supply problem again. Why is that? So, yes, what I'm going to do... How am I going to fix this? Well, clearly the answer... Well, the answer isn't that clear. Um, <laughs> but I guess if I put in a another splitter here and then tell that to just pass out the stone to one side and then a piece of belt there so I want you to just put out stone on that side and that there and then an inserter there and we'll just put it in a chest for now because I, f I fixed the problem so there shouldn't be a huge amount of stuff here I hope I've got one of those chests available um, nope <laughs> alright what sort of what sort of chests have I got available then on up here in them um, a yellow one, maybe? Let's try a yellow box. Nope. Ah. Um. 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 Are you... You are all yellow chests. Okay, so anything I can find in any of these will work. Are there any, are there any chests in there at all? I don't see any. Oh, for want of a chest. Um, a wood, yes, I might be able to make a wooden chest or an iron ch chest. A steel chest, I could even make a steel chest if I've got, oh, but I haven't got, 
Oh, are there any are there any assembly machines? That's an, that's a that's a good point. Um, I don't I don't see any assembly machines either, so I can't make a chest remotely. Oh, this is annoying. I could just rip up one of these chests and redistribute it amongst everything else. That's probably the best way to do it. Um, I wonder which one's got the least in it. Yeah, let's pull up one of these chests like that. <laughs> that could be redistributed everywhere else. Then I can put this chest up here, hopefully. Yes, there we go. That probably should be a faster inserter, really. But I think this will in this will in the fairly short term solve the problem. Um, and I did solve I discovered what was causing that problem. It was down here. I don't know if you saw this bit before the stream died, but down here, this underground belt was in front of this um, this splitter. So some of the stuff was coming off the bottom side of the splitter, going onto this underground belt and being passed up here forever, and that was bad. So yeah, I fixed that. <laughs> that that problem won't ha won't happen again. Um, but it'll be a little while until it sort of actually no, it's not going. It's not taking that long to filter it all out again by the looks of it. The other question of course which oh is this this belt the other question of course is whether there's enough stone coming through from this so there is all the stone coming through from the um from there and then there's this this stuff so this should run constantly so yeah yes it will be fine it'll be other yeah absolutely fine that's that's all right um this stone hang on didn't i i thought i cut this off because i don't want to use the stone up here maybe i cut stuff in a video and didn't do it in the stream let's cut that off there um, yeah, so the reason is there's three different places the stone the, the supplies can come from. There's coming down from here, which is the absolute highest priority because I really, really need to use this up. Otherwise, this whole system up here will back up. So any any stone or sand that comes down from here needs to be used as an absolute priority. So that's what this system does. Um, so that's why it prioritizes anything that comes from here. Then anything that comes from this stone that's coming up from the crushing down here might as well be used because that's free stone. Um, there's no, it's never going to run out, so I might as well use it up first. Why is this jammed? Um, oh, because it's trying to put some stone through there and it's stuck? Uh, oh, this isn't working as nicely as I hoped it would. Um... Oops, I've just undone something. I just pressed Control Z. I didn't mean to press Control Z. And it, made, it made a whoop noise, and that makes me realise I've done something wrong. What was it? Oh yeah, it was removing the piece a piece of belt from here that I did like that, like that. Um. Oh. Put that back in there. Um. And hopefully that'll sort it. So the problem was a low enough stone came through that it blocked this back up again. So we've got a little bit of buffer in there now. So hopefully this will now sort itself out. Is this the last problem streak? Yes, that's that's all of it. Now, so once this has come through, we will be okay again. <sighs> right. Yeah, there's always there's always more than one way to skin a Factorio, so but um, yeah, this way this way is working quite nicely for me, I think. So it's, it has sorted the sorted the problem for now. Um, the yeah, so the idea is that it uses the, the stuff that's coming out of the Naquium processing first because that needs to be used to prevent blockages. Then it uses this stuff because it's free. Then it uses this stuff because it comes from a um, comes from a mine and therefore will eventually run out. And there's actually not that much left in the mine, so it could potentially be problematic. <laughs> Um, yeah, okay, that's a little bit weird in the way it's doing it, but it will it will work. Right, good. That's kind of okay. So now up here, we should find that the um, the vita vitalic acid is now running reasonably quickly. We're not getting quite through as much glass as I would ideally like from this. Um, maybe I need more of these, or maybe they need more speed modules, or I don't know. But it's not quite quick enough. It's, it is a nearly full, well, nearly a half yellow bell. It's not very much. Um, 
and it's not cause it's not it's definitely not enough to cause a, a backlog. Maybe I sh should be making more glass. Oh well. Um, for now, I've got other problems, other Naquium related problems. So we'll we'll we'll. Actually, that's still at two thousand. Um, yeah, this does this probably needs to be sorted better. Um, and that means I need more of this. And there isn't room for more of this because, well, all the belts are here. Um, and the other problem with that is my Colt Stone Mine over here is down to 35,000, which isn't very much. Um, are there any more good stone patches around? There must be more stone patches around, surely. Well, there's one over there, 1.3 million. That's not bad. But these are all getting a bit close to the edge of my explored area. And the problem with leaving my explored area is, as, as I've discussed, um, there may be biters out there now. <laughs> because uh, with the update to the latest version of, um, what do you call it, there's a, risk, there's a bit of a risk of biters. So the problem is that we're just not getting through the, uh, the Vita Melange quickly enough. So if, if we're getting through this quicker, then there'd be more stone coming out of here. And so I'd have loads of stone up here for making into all of these things. But... Yeah, <laughs> that's sort of is sort of the limiting factor at the moment, which is a little bit weird. Oh well, right. Am I have I got there yet? Yes, I have. Excellent. Right, let's anchor here. Boop, boop. Right over here. Let's do the same sort of repair I did on the other ship. So uh, we need to first things first. This is like uh, disconnecting the battery before you start working on a car. <laughs> do that so that the ship doesn't try to leave without leave while I'm working on it. Then we pull up basically all of this. Oh, I hope there's going to be enough left. I'm going to need to start pumping this around before I do anything. Yeah, I'm going to need to pump this around to make sure I don't accidentally um, ditch all of the um, what do you call it? it? Oh, where can I put this? Put that there. So we'll pump it all over this way. If I to pull that out, then that will, yes, that will slurp it all out of these three tanks, which is what I want, and put it into these two. And I'm cautiously optimistic that 50,000 ion stream is going to be enough for the ship to get back home again. Um, if it's not, I might have to cry. But, <laughs> um, yeah. Right, so what do we need up here? We need the receipt. We need a signal receiver in there, which there isn't room for. I can put it down. These things are massive. Put it down here. Um, and I'll put in a couple of these poles to get the signal over to, to it. Or from it, rather. Um, I'll put in the wire as well just to make sure. So that goes to there, to there. Uh, no. There, to there, to there, to there. And you are receiving... Uh, what's this called? Um... Deep space from Norbit, that's the one. Okay, so we now have a number on... We don't have a number on here. Why not? It's receiving. I'll look at that, I'll check that in a minute. How, how, how are we doing here? What how have we got? Oh. Muppet. <laughs> oh, and it's... <laughs> this pumping isn't going to work because of that. Uh, what if I rotate that and that? And oh, how? how just how? How am I going to do this? Um, right. So that one, I can rotate that one, and it'll suck it out of here as well. This is a ridiculous thing. I've got this feeling that if you pull up a um, a tank, it tries to push anything in it into any connected tanks. But I'm not quite sure enough about that to want to just do it, <laughs> especially when there's such a shortage of it out, or potential shortage of it out here. Um, this is nearly empty. Good. So if I rotate that, no, rotate that now. I can then get some of what's in here into it. <laughs> this is a sort of a um, whichever the turtle, the, the the idea of shooting an arrow at a turtle. It'll never hit it, but if he always goes half the distance to it each time, because <sighs> I'm only going to be able to get half the half of the ion stream out of each of these each time. But I'll get to the point where I don't care, I think, fairly quickly. Right. Come on, pump faster. 
So why is it doing six per second though? It's because there's not very much in the, in the pipe. Right, so we've got a total of about 11 in here. So if I pull that tank up, this gets... Oh yeah, because that, that does work. That's good to know. So if I pull all of these up, then it all goes into this tank. And then it'll pump through a bit quicker. How are these doing? Oh, they, those are full. That's why it's stopped. Okay, so the next thing to put in is put that um, bu -bu 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 this booster tank back here. Then we have a pump there to make sure it's always full. I can put in this pipe in here now as well. That's fine. We can pull most of the... I mean, this might be actually be okay. Um, looking at the other Naquip... Uh, this isn't... I haven't, I haven't named that one yet. Uh, the other one in, in Norvis Orbit. How many tanks has it got? How many tanks have I been able to put in one of these ships? So it's three... Okay, three of these tanks and one booster tank. Okay, that's that's all right then. So I can pull out this pump and put, put in a pipe across there. And now we're in the same position here. It's going to be pouring across into this one, but it's fine. So these are now in the same... This is now the same setup as the other ship on... The other ship that I'm, I've, I've got built. So this is the best I can do until I've managed to do a lot more research. Okay. So that's now fixed and should be able to take off. Because we've got the 10,000 ion stream in there. We've got still got plenty of heat in this. That's fine. Um, so I'll get rid of this ship now. I don't need it. I don't need this ship to take me anywhere, so I can just dispatch it. And it's gone. Good. Right. Okay, so that's that's working as expected. The next thing I need to do while I'm here is I need to put an enormous quantity of these water tanks in. Um, and these are because we have... I'm going to put another pump in to do, deal with this as well. So we have all of these st steam tanks here that, f that are filled up by water flowing around, flowing through into the spaceship, being boiled to 5 bajillion degrees or whatever, 5,000 degrees, and then coming being pumped out into these tanks. And that's used to power the outpost the whole time the spaceship isn't there. The thing is, all of that steam then condenses in these condensing turbines and goes into the in, and um, and then tries to fit into these tanks down here, which there aren't very many of, and so that was causing problems earlier. So I've now set this so that it uh, now with all of these tanks to act as a buffer, that's not going to be so much of an issue. Not going to be an issue. So I can do that, and um, yeah, these should just always pump out. So yeah. So these tanks, so yeah, that means there's always plenty, there's, the water from here will be used to be boiled into steam first, then then we'll make more water out of the, um, down here out of the ice, so yeah, that should always, that should, that should work now. What am, what are you asking for me to pop, Santa? In fact, I'm, I'm not sure I want, to, given your name, I'm not sure I want to know the answer to that question. Okay, so where were, oh yes, the next thing that wasn't working properly was this this signal receiver here. This is getting this appears to be getting a zero um, when it's the deep space from Norbit one. So that's set to the correct thing. So if I look back over here again, I've got a transmitter here. This is again deep space from Norbit. It's got um, 775. It should be transmitting. Oh, it's because the cable colours are wrong, I guess. Uh, Let's try swapping that over and see if it seeing if it suddenly starts working if I switch over to a green cable. <laughs> and I suppose to that one as well, because why not? There we go, that's 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 better. Even so even so that isn't doing anything. So up up here we need to say if the what what are these things? These are the uh, do, 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 Interstellar void probe data. If that's less than zero, then we need to pass it. Then we allow it to pass through. I don't know why there's two um, belts can programmed here, but never mind. It's set that, set like that, so I'll leave it. Right. So I think this is all good and sort. Oh, I need to tell the um, the ship in Norvis orbit now. To have, let's, are, you, are you hot yet? 5,700. Uh, that's not quite hot enough because, the, well, it probably is, but it doesn't leave enough of a safety margin for what, I, for, for what I'm thinking. So if we, if we look if we look once again at the uh, the ship that's now on its way back, the this one, Naquifier, and we can see that even with the amount of time it spent sat out there, it's still got 
nine and almost 9,600 degrees C in the uh, in the um, thermal battery. So that's probably. I mean, it was out there all that time. It's only used 400 degrees C. Even if we double that, because we assume it uses most more power traveling than it does for anything else, we're still going to have. We're, we're still looking at less than a thousand, and um, this one is pretty close to 6,000 now. So I think I think this would sh probably be okay, but I'm going to let it get a little bit hotter before I before I send it off, just in case, because I'll feel really really stupid if it gets stuck. That said, I mean, it's not the end of the world. It's not quite so end of the world as it was with the last one, because if it runs out of heat rather than running out of ion stream, you can at least just fire a beam at it, even if it's in the middle of nowhere, and limp it home gradually. Um, it's just a faff and a pain. <laughs> okay, so I'll let this get to... I don't know. What do you think, chap? Six and a half thousand? That's probably going to be enough. And then... We'll see how much it gets topped up in the time it... We'll see how much the other ship gets topped up in the amount of time it takes for it to unload. Because that's the other sort of slight... Slight concern. Whether it can be heated all the way back up again in the, in the time it's sat here unloading. I might need to boost the... Um, put more power put more power delivery into the, into the beam that's firing here. 6,000. Getting there. Right, so water buffer tanks. Done. Excellent. Second heat exchanger on Tulip. Done. Cross that off. Beam for gear often. Done. Um, deep space space probe later loading in Realm of Shadows. Logic. Done. Right. That's everything off my list. Wow. Um, I've... <laughs> yes, I've, I've finished. I've completed the game. Right. I'll uh, see you next week. For... No. Um, there's obviously still plenty more to do. I've just ticked off all of the, sort of the, the obvious things that were broken. So... Maybe I should spend a minute or two looking for other things that are broken, like um, the chemical gel supply seems to be a bit lacking at the moment up here. Um, is that an oil production problem? What's, cause, what's causing me to be so short of chemical gel? There is not enough in the tank. There is not enough in the pipe. We are not making it, excuse me, because we've run out of gas. Why are we, why are we not gassing? Because we've run out of other stuff back up here. Have we run out of... No, we're not run out of bio sludge. Oh, we've run out of methane ice. I was worried this was going to be, be a problem. Is the is the mine empty then? Or is it just... Oh, some is being picked up. But, yeah, this mine is running very, very slowly now. This is a problem. Um, I either need to find another methane ice deposit. There's a tiny one there. Um, or I need to start shipping oil or... Um, coal I don't I don't want to go back to coal I suppose I could I could have a spaceship bringing up um, bringing up oil now that's that's manageable um, the other thing I can do is actually just push out a little bit further this way do a bit more exploration see if I can find any more uh, methane ice patches I've noticed the um, the asteroids in orbit seem to be very very one-dimensional um, I'll show you what I mean in a moment that's probably far enough if you look at the area that I've explored now, there's there's quite quite a big area going all the way out here. There's sort of the slightly lighter, the, the dark grey, but every asteroid I've found is on a straight line all the way across here. So, yeah, um, methane ice, fifty-six thousand, nineteen thousand. No, basically, um, there's there's no more decent methane ice patches. So I have two. Well, I have at least two choices here. Two choices that I'm considering. One is to go out to find another asteroid field belt area thing. Like maybe maybe this... No, not Calamity. I'm not going out to Calamity. Um, like maybe this one where I'm already going to. So I go to an asteroid belt and find a patch of, of um, methane ice here. Like that's stone. Um, that's also stone. That's iron. <laughs> like perhaps not this one. Um... So, yeah, maybe not here, then. Uh, I could go out... What about the other other asteroid belt? Khalid's asteroid belt, too. This is an iron-heavy belt. No, Lawrence, don't press the wrong buttons. Um, I don't know. I this is a crazy, crazy iron patch, but... Um, let's do a little bit more exploration around here. Are these ones at least two-dimensional, so you don't just get the uh, all the asteroids in, in, a, in a line? Let's find out. They seem to be a little bit more two-dimensional. It is entertaining how easy it is to do a bit of exploration like this with the uh, NAVSAT. <laughs> Feels like cheating, but, you know. 
Uh, right, what have we got here? So we've got some beryl, got some copper, iron ore. There still doesn't appear to be much in the way, anything in the really in the way of methane. There. So there's tiny, tiny bits there apparently, but basically none. Um, I could perhaps look in the orbit of another nearby planet, like a Salia, but that's not that's not got any. Um, no, I think the best thing to do at this point, uh, given that that problem, is to then is to go back to a Salia and have a another spaceship that lands here with a probably with a train in it because train spaceships are well, actually no no with fluids it's not so bad um despite all the grumbling i've been doing about fluid trains earlier yeah is finish off what i was do going to do was going to do here and have another oil drop-off point that just gets loaded straight into a spaceship and just have a spaceship full of oil fly over uh, um i think that's probably going to be the way to do it um because yeah this this patch is basically is ba the this patch here is basically dead now there's like there's 170,000 in it but it's coming out so slowly it's just not able to keep up with demand i've always been a little bit worried that i'm going to run out of um, bio sludge for this because i'm not quite sure how i've got the system set up for it but if i can just have if i can just have a spaceship land here um dump dump an enormous quantity of oil into tanks and then fly off again i think that's going to be the way to go so i'm just going to bring up oil straight from asalia as, as 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 crude oil um i'm going to write that on my to-do list bring oil from asalia now the other actually if, just thinking about but the other thing i could do about the other thing i could consider about this is i could bring over the heavy oil, the light oil, and the petroleum gas. And that would allow me to use productivity modules in the generation and stop generating it up here. And I wouldn't need a water supply from ice quite so much. I don't know if that's a, if that's a good idea or not, really. I don't know if that would actually be particularly useful. You'd get... Or rather, whether the whether the gains of not having to not having to ship as much water to space, not having to and and being able to use productivity modules would make up for the the hassle and the logistics of trying to deal bring bring three types of liquid up here. I think I might just say no, I don't care. I'm just going to bring it up as as crude oil and do and deal with it up here because there is a lot of oil available on Asalia, I think. Um, it's still 10,000% 10, 10, there in that patch. 10,000% um, in that patch. 5,000% in that patch, which I haven't even touched. 8,000 over here. There's a lot of oil on this plant, on this moon. I think we're probably going to be okay. Um, 13,000 down there. If I, if, I need to, if I need to, I can run a railway down there without too much difficulty. There's crazy, crazy amounts of oil. And if I, if I get absolutely desperate, I could start digging up... Um, um, digging, digging up core fragments and, and extract and squeezing the oil out of those. Um, I don't know how much I get from those because this is this is a very small moon, so I wouldn't be able to pull all that much out of it. But it would it would it would be a, it would be a little bit extra. But I think I think I think just using these is probably going to be absolutely fine. Um, yes, I could ha I could have three ships tra traveling back and forth. I don't think there's any actual advantage to that, especially if I can get the factory start spaceship science up and done, um, because I think I'd just, I just have three, yeah, three ships. Three ships wouldn't wouldn't really make make any difference. Oh, I can also fuel them up on this planet as well, which would be rather nice. So I don't need to worry about a fueling point in in orbit. So that'll make that a little bit easier. Yeah, so let's do let's do that. I think I think it's not worth it's not worth ha the hassle of trying to do the processing down here. I think I'll just want just one big sh one ship that carries a huge quantity of the um um. A huge quantity of, of crude oil up with it, and, and then things will be okay from there. Um, and lots of pumps to unload it as well. We've I've, I've learnt my lesson there. <laughs> it's not worth it's, it's not worth sacrificing um, pump space for storage space like I've done here. This this ship should have a pump going into each one of the tanks up the side, and then a pump coming out from the uh, on the other side from each one of the tanks as well. <laughs> or at least every pair of I don't know. We'll, so yeah, we'll. Um, I'll find I'll find a better way of doing that. Oh, and I can put this 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 extra bit in as well. That'll make that that go slightly quicker as well. 
Right, so yes, that's an important thing to do. Um, but, but you know, as, as I say, it's a good idea, but not just yet, because I'm currently blooming miles away in um, wherever it is I am. So, I keep being in the wrong place. Let's have a look at this 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 again. Seven and a half, seven thousand three hundred. I think that's enough. I'm happy to call that ship ready and toasty and ready to go. So, I'll link that into there again. Now, it should go... So you're, but it's not. Okay, so there's a problem in here somewhere. So what what are the rules for this? The rules are, um, it's the it's these ones. So if you've got, yeah, so that's that's saying if you've got enough iron and it is it's, it's a tick on there. If you've got enough sulfur, it's a tick. If you've got enough if you're in the right place, a it's a tick. You are you are getting five input ticks, five ticks on the input, but you're not outputting anything because you need a sixth one. Um, is one the oh one of the fuels is? Yes, this fuel is is insufficient. So uh, that's wants to be eighty two thousand. It's only actually sixty six thousand. Let's set that to sixty thousand, which feels a bit worrying. But I hope there's going to be enough fuel. Right. So, plib, it's gone. I didn't rename that. I didn't give it a second a sensible name. But I can do that in a moment once it starts. I said once it starts moving. Bloody things. Right. Why did you not... When that pinged, why did you not get the instruction to go to... Are some of the combinators not not down? So there's that, there's that one that says go fast, go to Norvis Orbit. There's that one that says go fast, go to Realm of Shadows. Why did that not get passed through? It goes into here... should have then got passed to here it's got realm of shadows set oh it is it is going but we've got the engines aren't firing they've got fuel in them but they've not got power oh we've got a oh we've got the water problem some for some reason it overloaded the water Now are you okay? Um. Why are these engines not? Um. So what's been stuck at 58%? Um, good night, Mike. Mike and other Mike. No. Oh, Mick and Mike. Sorry. Well, I don't know. I'm not quite. I'm still not quite sure how that name's pronounced. Oh, the this this one. Yes, I've run out. That's because I've run out of Naquium. So there's no um, <laughs> there's no uh, no Naquium. Therefore, no um, science production. No no science packs being made. Therefore, nothing's happening. Right. Why are these engines not working? We've got this is this is set. To, we're go. We're trying to go. Okay, now they're going. Oh, there's a missing pylon in there. <laughs> okay, well we'll go we'll go at eighty percent speed until we get to the other end, and then I'll fix it. So that's a reasonably that's a minor problem. I don't know why it didn't engage properly though. Um, and I'm a bit worried about it. It's going to be half an hour till it gets there though. Um, so we won't we won't sit here and watch the whole thing. Mike seems like a good name, a suitable, a suitable name in there. I'm happy to call you that. I'll, I'll try not to confuse you with other Mike when you come along to the um, um, the Minecraft streams. <laughs> um, basically, if I'm shouting abuse, then you're probably not the Mike. Then it's, I'm probably I don't probably don't mean you. Oh no, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, if I'm shouting, if I'm calling 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 a Mike an idiot, I probably don't. Re I'm probably referring to the other Mike. <laughs> okay, so are we? Is everything okay out here? I think it probably is. We've got the tanks for dumping water into. We've got this communication set up here to allow that to run as and when required. The spaceship has gone. I've rescued it. I'm desperately hoping that the amount of um, uh, water and ion stream and so on in those ships is enough. 
But if not, I'll have to go out and rescue them somehow. Oop, the door is not on this side of this ship. Every other ship I've got, the door is on the um, the door is on the left hand side. This one's got it on the right hand side for no good reason. So I think yes, let's let's set off from here, and then I in the, in the next episode I'll be back in um, back in uh, where is it um, Norvis Norvis orbit, and we'll be able to carry on from Norvis orbit. We'll be able to carry on from there. Blip. I was wondering why that engine hadn't kicked in, but it seems they just take it just takes maybe there's a spike in the power usage when they kick in. Or maybe there's just some sort of vagaries of the game. I don't know. There's the power thing. Um No, it looks like a steady amount of power being used. I don't know why they fired up in, in, in separately like that. I just just just, just a vagaries of the game, I guess. Right, so now looking at the um map, we can see there's yep, there's my my ship the donut on its way back out. We go to Kalidus, we should have we've got oh, we've got a there and knack again parked in orbit for some reason. Oh that'll be that's because it's waiting for waiting for us parking space. Uh, okay that's that's acceptable. The warbler is on its way out. This is supposed to be a um, this is supposed to have a different name now. This is the Nacrifier 2. Uh, like so. And what where's the Nacrifier 1? Oh, the Nacrifier one. Oh, it's on. It's nearly back already. That's pretty good. Um, that's. I must have set. That must have set off ages ago because it definitely hasn't been. Um, well, I thought it hadn't. I, th I thought I'd set that. Told that one to, to clear off and, and um, to start going fairly quite recently. But it's nearly back, so that's good. Um, so this. So once this one arrives, this will allow me to make sure that everything sort of just cascades through successfully and everything seems to start working again. So this should dump. The um, the Naqu Naquitite out into the into the um, the warehouses, and then from there it'll be loaded into the other ship, the the uh, the ne there and Nac again, um, and and that'll allow the there and Nac again to leave to go off to Tulip to pro for it to be processed, and so the there and Nac again again will be able to land and load up, and that'll be and then so that that'll fly off to Tulip as well, and the question the big question is when they so there's they they take a third of the of the the, the amount of stuff that the big aquifer ships take. So once they've flown, the question is: Will by the time they three of those have left, will the other aquifer ship be practically back again, or will I need to make a third one of these ships to to keep up with the demand? And um, well, we shall find out momentarily. Uh, we shall um, yes. We shall find out in actually no. As I say momentarily. We we may not actually find out this after this evening because I'm probably going to stop fairly soon. Um, but I do want to at least wait for this one to land and make sure everything gets moved across and and see everything kick in properly on Tulip. So um, uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll wait a few minutes for this. How long does this reckon on, in, as, as actual minutes go? So oh, it's only a minute away. That's pretty good. Uh, while we're waiting, maybe I should talk about some of the other stuff that can be seen on the channel. <laughs> I am. Um, touched on the DIY videos earlier when um, when uh, was it um, Mr. Leopard was was talking about um, use, using uh, using wood to you uh, gluing on extra bits of wood to repair where I've screwed up which is a, yeah it was a, a good call I could I could um, could certainly do that um, we've also got other, another stream which is now every Monday night so that's um, it, we, we had a little bit of a shuffle recently because as I said I've um, rehearsals have kicked in on Tuesdays and Thursdays so um, now I've had to, had to move my streams to Mondays and Wednesdays um, but so Monday Monday evening streams are now um, we're playing uh, Minecraft with the uh, Dungeons Dragons and Space Shuttles uh, mod pack, and that means we've got enormous numbers of mods to work through and enormous numbers of things to to think about and, and stretch our brains against. Um, and it's, yeah, it, it, it's it's good fun. Actually, it's getting more and more interesting. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to make a Monday night stream, so uh, it's. Uh, possibly, possibly me advertising it isn't the best idea, but you could always, you can certainly join Al's stream for that one, and you can see, and you'll be able to see me a week on Monday, and there'll be, uh, there'll be videos for that for both, both sets of streams. Um, and it's, oh, it's a gear off and core. Um, there will also be videos for both of those streams um, coming out every, um, every, every, every weekend. So I'm, I've, I've, I've reckoned that put it, having the, uh, the streams, the videos, the summary streams, the, the videos that summarise the streams coming out on Saturday and Sunday should work quite well with the streams on then on uh, Tuesday and Thursday. Hopefully that'll no Monday and Wednesday, sorry. Um, hopefully that'll give me enough time to actually make the videos and get everything and, and, um, and have them ready to ready for you to watch at the time. And I'll squeeze the GTA ones in wherever there's wherever there's a, a gap, <laughs> basically. 
Right, so this ship has arrived safely. Um, it's got to 9,700, so it, it is heating back up again. How are these doing? These are a th 20 no, a third emptied, I'd say, roughly. Um, ballparking by eye. Um, and this is probably halfway of being he heated back up again. So that looks like this is good. The, um, the amount of time it takes to heat up is less than the amount of time it takes to dump the nacrotite. So these are going to gradually get hotter and hotter and we don't, I don't have any worries about that. So that's good. This ship is filling up. Um, filling up. It's got to, oh, it's practically full actually. So that's going to go in any, mo any moment now. Like that. <laughs> oh, and there's the second one. The one there and knack again again. Um, so that's now arrived. That one's filling up. So that's... Um, Oh, I suppose, yes, these, these, these are practically empty. Yes, that makes sense. So we've unloaded about a third of this that went straight into the first ship, which then left. The second load of it will go, will go into this ship, which will obviously leave. Um, and then this one will be ready to leave fairly soon. And we'll see if the there and knack again gets back in time for... Um, it, no, this one gets back and is ready to load in uh, before the second one of these ships gets back. So we may, I may still need to build a, second, a third one of these. We shall see how that goes. Hello, Maholix part raiding party. Thank you for joining. Um, good to have sudden uh, sudden um, bursts of people joining. That's exactly what I what I look for in my streams. Um, welcome, welcome to the stream. I, um, are you are you all familiar with Factorio? Do you do you like the game? Are you have you played space exploration? Do you is, is this all just are you just looking at this and going what on earth is he doing? Um, either way, answers on a, or questions on a postcard, and I'll uh, answer where I can. Why has this spaceship not left? Oh, because we're waiting for more sulphur to be loaded in. Okay, that's fair enough. Okay, so let's have a look down here. What have we got? We've got we've got enough iron. Oh, we have got enough sulphur. That's gone over to a tick. Why are we loading more? Oh dear, these numbers. I don't know. Oh, it'll be, ah, yes, it's the um, it's this, this one. Uh, that's this eighty-two thousand. I'm gonna have to drop that again to the um. So I could drop it to seventy thousand. That that would be that would be acceptable. And that will probably go. Plip. Okay, excellent. And now this one is still filling up. It's got to. It's very nearly full though, so that'll head off. Bing. There we go. And plip. Now, if we have another look, have another look at the um, the map, we can see here we've got the aquifer. That's the big one that goes the long way. Has just left. So that's on its way. There and knack again again has just left as well, and the, the, the first one, the there and knack again, is still actually still on its way to Tulip. So we've got a little bit a little bit of time to, to go for it to get out there. So yeah, um, yeah, I'm thinking of doing. Um, I, so my my plan once I finish space exploration is to um, start playing um, Dyson Sphere program because I get the impression that's very very Factorio-y. So hopefully it'll appeal to all of the same sort of people and I and I hope you'll all come back to watch me play that. <laughs> Please do. Um, I like the I like the viewer numbers I get for this stream and for these videos. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll probably start playing that. But my other sort of potential plan and this depends on what other people want to do as well of course is once we, if, if if we ever finish um minecraft dungeon dragons and space shuttles then maybe that group of us can play um space exploration with crastorio 2 um as our as our next sort of big group project we did um industrial revolution and finished that fairly recently and that's why we then switched over to playing um playing to play minecraft for a bit of variety um but we're all quite big fans of factorio as well so doing so um, and space exploration is basically the best mod pack for factorio as far as i'm concerned as, at least as of the ones that i've played so i think that would be a good one for us to to follow up with Ah, good. That ship that was sitting there and not doing anything has dropped into has 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 landed. <clears throat> so it's probably waiting for the Kothar core to take off. So that's good. This this system seems to be working. There are quite a lot of spaceships buzzing around my solar system. I like this. This is. I feel like I've got to the point where it's just generally all it's all quite busy, and that's quite nice. Three hundred and forty-two hours seems reasonable. Actually, that seems quite quick for doing space exploration, especially with uh, with Crastorio as well. I mean, I've been playing for 18 days, which is uh, 480 hours plus and some change. Um, basically 500 hours, and I'm still playing um, still playing just, just vanilla space exploration. Granted, it took me an extra 100 hours or so to get off the planet in the first place because of the because I had a lot more biters than I was supposed to do. Um, but even so, that's that's pretty impressive, I'd say. Well done. 
Yep, there we go. Ship has landed and it's unloading and it's reloading with the uh, with the other stuff. So the Naquitite, no, the Naquium is flowing on nice and quick, um, and that's basically all of it. <laughs> um, 340 actually. That's not not too bad. And as expected, that has gone on much 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 quicker than the uh, the Naquitite is coming off um, because because there's a lot less of it. So this will flow out, flows down into here, goes into the, it can go into this warehouse, whatever, who cares? Um, we're just trying to get it out of this, out of this, out of the spaceship as quickly as possible, and then we can leave it there processing while it takes this 340 naquium back out into space, and we, we, we can do, do do useful stuff with it out there. Oh right, is that so? The a month ago, that's not the that's not the things that I saw changing. So those those were Crastoria related changes, I take it, um, because I think I've. The space exploration changes I'd have seen, and I don't think there were any major ones a month ago that broke everything. I say with a questioning tone in my voice because I'm really not sure. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I. That's the problem with with using mul multiple mods. Even I, I went. It's sort of when I started playing, I was or when I when I saw the um the cha the changes to the to, to the space exploration that would mean all of the, a lot of the things I was doing would end up being somewhat broken i was thinking that was why i was thinking i was sort of thinking well i might as well just stay on this um on this version of the mod pack what's the point in changing um stick with one version until i finish it and then if i do another run then yeah i'll sure i'll start again with the um with the latest version but i got so much abuse that uh, i thought actually no all right i'll uh, i'll upgrade it and i'll i'll, I'll play with the um, i'll play with it I'll, I'll bring the the upgrades and the new new stuff in and see how it goes <laughs> Yes, abuse probably is too strong a word, but it seemed like, yeah, well, you know. So interesting, this has taken long enough to unload that it's actually that some of the Naquium has started to get through the processing and it's coming, it's coming around and being and being fed back in. So that's uh, interesting. <laughs> yeah, I'd say you did bully me into it. There was a lot of uh, a lot of pushing. Oh, and nice use of the um, subscriber emo emoji there. I, I approve of that. <laughs> Yes, if you uh, if you subscribe to my if you subscri subscribe to my Twitch, then you get to use novel t novel emojis like the finger guns one there, and I need to come up with more and put more subscriber um, perks and benefits and things in. So, um, and if you have any suggestions, do let me know because I'm um, definitely um, interested in putting those sort of things in. Oh, right, and there's the uh, again, 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 again. Uh, it's landed here and is now unloading its all of its stuff. So, if these two ships are going to stick sort of this close together. I can see that we're going to have one of the ships is always going to be the one that carries the Naquium, um, and the other one is just going to bring out extra Naquitite to be processed through for that first one. <laughs> but I mean, it, it doesn't matter. It's not a competition between the ships at all. We're just trying to get the um, the stuff flowing through and turning it into deep space science, so I can make bigger, 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 bigger spaceships. I wonder if that. I wonder if there'll be enough on that one. If that that train load will be enough to produce the. Um, uh, to produce enough science to finish this off, I honestly don't know. But this, is, this system is sort of now basically basically working as far as I can, as far as I'm aware. I mean, I say as far as I'm aware because there's bound to be something that isn't working. That isn't the one window I meant to open. Nor is that one. Go away. Right. So don't. Oh, donuts nearly back. Awesome. I'm, I've um, I've nearly made it back, so I can start thinking about things. Oh, few. Oh, that's a potential problem. I'll have to look at that in a second. Um, but where are the where are the Oh, both the aquifer ships are on their way out or outbound at the moment. So it's going to be a long time until we get any more um, Naquium being brought to Kalidus. That's that's going to be a problem. Um, yes. Yeah, so why why is there a, a fuely ship floating there? I mean, presumably it's because there's another one currently refueling on the planet. Yes. Why are you sitting there like a lemon? Uh, obviously, this is trying to fill it up to too high a level before it leaves, um, and therefore there's not very much. Yeah, we're only putting well, that's 400 a second. Isn't that a tiny amount? But um, right, well, which, which which comparator? Oh, this comparator. Here we go. 940 in there, and we're waiting for a million. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I mean, a million is. Is still one, two, three. Is still only two thirds full. These these ones up here. What? One, two, three. What? That can't be right. Some of these tanks aren't wired in. Oh bloody hell!
Get lost. <laughs> have I got the same problem here? I have. Oh. Right. That could probably be a chunk more than a million, actually. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there's a potential for 1.5 million. So let's set this to 1.4 million. Um, that means as long as there is... Yeah, and let's let's see how long this lurks around there for. Now let's go and fix that other ship as well. Fuely 2. There, where are you? There you are. Um, let's make that a 1.4 million as well. And then we can see how this goes. How long it takes them to actually lift off. Because with the... As I was complaining about earlier. With the um, the way that fluids flow in, in uh, Factorio. It's very difficult to get all of your tanks. Well, it's you can't get all of your tanks to fill up nicely from one pump. Pumping in and then just sort of dribbling around amongst them because when they get to when there's when there's relatively small differences in the amount of liquid between tanks the fluid flows very very slowly between them so if you've got a hundred thousand in this one and ninety thousand in this one it takes forever for it to trickle all the way through all of these other tanks it's just blooming awful and that's why it takes off when there's still fifteen thousand left in it and it'll take off from here when the, when it's still that's a hundred, still a hundred thousand below. Absolute, absolutely full. That's quite a lot, but but I'd rather have the ships flying back and forth a bit more often, and just make sure I get that throughput of, of, of fuel. Because if we look at Norvis orbit, there's a chance now that we're running very, very low on fuel up here. Uh, where's my? Yeah, we have run out of fuel here, pretty much, and that's going to start causing problems with all these ships up here. Yeah, because now the, the buffer tanks up here are basically empty, which means this ship is struggling to refuel. Although it is practically there, actually. I don't know why it's still here. Um, mm, 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 this one. 590. Oh, okay. It, it is... I don't know why this ship is still here. The only thing it should be waiting for here is... Oh, oh and... And this fuel, which has got loads of. Um, what? Oh, okay. It's leaving now. I'm somewhat confused, but it seems to be working, so I'm not going to complain. <laughs> um, true, yes. Um, yeah. So I'm going to. I, I think I'm going to redesign these ships. I suspect. Um, well, I'm going, to, I'm going to when I when I build an oil ship, bring the oil up to for here. I'm going to base it approximately on these, but with fewer mistakes, should we say? <laughs> um, I'm going to do it a bit like this, but better. Um, and yeah, I'll, so I'll, yes, I'll have a lot more. Yes, as you say, I'll probably I'll probably have the, have the multiple pipes in all the way down here, and pipes out all the way along here, and put the pumps on the outside. Yes, I think that is exactly what I will do. Cause, um, Yes, because you're absolutely right. It's, it's going to be much, much more effective filling it up like that. It's still going to have to flow all the way from here across to here. Um, I might put top and bottom strap pipes on it as well. Like, like well, at least that's an unloading one. I don't know. At least if it's only having to go across four rather than one, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four, five, six, it's going to be a lot better. But that would only be th only going across three. Um, but I might I might make it a bit wider as well because because the problem is I can't put I can't put oil in these tanks because these are rocket fuel only tanks. But they're really really good because they store four times as much fuel as a uh, or f four times as much fluid as a uh, as a storage tank of the same size. So in order to get any sort of decent amount brought, it's going to have to be a significantly bigger ship, I think. Uh, but that's okay. I can make a bigger ship. I have the technology. So I think my yes, my, my ship has back is back. It's got me. It's got me in it still. That's a good sign. So we are now ready. Yeah, I'm now read back and ready to start building things. But it is 20 past 11, so I'm not going to do that tonight. I am, however, going to have a quick look at, um, over here. See what's going on. Okay, so this is loading up with more naquitite. That's going to be the last, the last quantity. Oh, in fact, this is this is a half ship's worth for some for some reason. I've got. Not got not getting a full ship in here, which is weird because I brought three ships in. I thought I got three ships out of it, but there must have been some already in here or something weird like that. So um, never mind. So I've got the three ships worth over there. The um, 
<clears throat> got this up to 400 and something so the train will come over here it is in fact we can load that up there this hasn't gone up at all where are you going to with it you're going to deep space science drop off one good okay so that is taking it to the making the science the uh, science catalogs not the science packs where there's loads of stuff why is there a train run out of fuel how is a train run out of fuel oh, rage how have you run out of fuel how do we do we not have oh we don't have fueling in the depot gonna say lawrence <laughs> why is there no fueling happening in the depot oh and what oh that's why it's broken then it's so there is no fueling happening in the depot deliberately because it's supposed to get fueled here instead oh for goodness sake but that broke for stupid stupid reasons <clears throat> are there any belts up here that are in in, in storage uh, let's try with yellow with blue ones first because what are you telling me there are no um yellow chests either You put that. Oh, oh, it has already been put there. So, there are no yellow chests in Miyoki. I find that very hard to believe. Um, let's try and put one down. See what happens. You never know. Miyoki. Okay. Three. There are three. Th right. Okay. Fix. I'm going to put fix Miyoki on my to-do list because that's just. <laughs> Because that's dreadful. <laughs> Everything has just fallen apart there. Um, but okay. I'm not... Oh, Or is there storage up here? St yeah, there is some storage up here. Oh, it's all red chests though. Are there no... Are there no yellow chests? Hmm. Miokin is somewhat poorly thought out. <laughs> what's my what's my Roboport coverage? Oh, Roboport coverage is pretty complete. But there just aren't any yellow chests available. And there aren't apparently aren't any belts available. There aren't any robo Yeah. <sighs> what if I replace this with space belts? Are there any of those? No. Okay. I need to go out there and fix that. Um <clears throat> fix me uh train fuel. Uh, station fuel, I suppose. Right. Okay. So I'll go off. I'll go off and uh, and sort that out. So next time, bringing oil from Asalia, fixing that thing on Miokin, looking for more problems because that is always a guaranteed way to find more problems, and then Deep Space Science Two. So Deep Space Science 2 is obviously the big headline thing that I want to try and get on with because that's exciting and new science and stuff like that. But we get all of these little problems ticking up, ticking up along here, and yeah. So I, I need the oil for these, um, for the chemical gel. Uranium. I've run out of uranium ore. Oh, you, oh yeah, uranium is a problem. Um, I had ideas about this. Um, I talked about it in a previous stream. I remember it. In fact, in a previous video as well. So I might be able to find it without too much difficulty. But it was how am I going to get more go away how am i going to get more uranium none of my planets have a decent supply of uranium but i think one of the belts might have done was it you it was not you you just have oodles and oodles of iron one massive massive iron patch that was going to be my when i run out what if iron starts to be a problem um a thing I'm sure there was somewhere maybe was it maybe it was the first ah oh, here we go here's a chunk there is a chunk of uranium here five million isn't that's not half bad so yeah perhaps another um another ship going out to um uranium uh, uranium around out to um asteroid belt one to get a uranium um asteroid belt one the other possibility was matter transfiguration and turning turning stone into um in, into uranium but that seat strikes me as being incredibly expensive and just a bit and a little bit nonsense so i uh, probably won't do that Oh, these are handy actually this is a good way of telling where the problems are so what's uranium vulcanite vulcanite on norvis is a problem why is vulcanite a problem on norvis now this 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 again is a bit of a nonsense it's just the vulcanite that's being being that's coming out of the uh, core core mining 
um, and I'm turning it into rocket fuel just to feed it in there because I didn't know what else to do with it. Most of the vulcanite that gets used for this play for, for, for um, uh, where am I? Norvis comes from here. So as you can see, this this is this is fairly healthy, and we get a load of stone as well to dispose of too. Uh, not that button, that button. Vulcanite, bio sludge, install avoid probe, install avoid probe data shortage. Interesting. Um, you do appear to not have any. Um, but I was thinking that that should be all right because we've got. Oh, it'll, it'll have to come back on one of the Nequium ships. So maybe one of the Nequium ships will now. No, there's not enough. Oh, it's still. Yeah. How, what? How, 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 did, what? How much is how, how much is there actually? Two point seven. Two point seven k. So why is this not? Oh. <laughs> ah. Right. Okay. I see why that's failed. Let's fix that because that that is a quick and easy fix. So this this yeah this is a bit of a silly one because I put the um, subtraction on the same wiring system as the um, uh, as the station the station thinks it's empty so if I put in a mathematical combinator uh, which I don't seem to have any of um, do I can I just summon one from the from the world like that is that gonna work uh, no no it's not I'm just gonna make it then like a like some sort of peasant. Okay, so we'll make that. We'll pull that up, and then and then and then and then. Then we then we can use free green cables. Link that to there. Link that to there, and take input. Take in the number of those and the out, and subtract two thousand from it, and output it as the same thing. There we go. So now we've still got the... Uh, what? Oh, oh, it's not linked to the... It's not linked to the pylon, so I can't monitor it. <laughs> uh, let's link it to the pylon as well. There we go. So we've now got, yeah, we've now got a nice negative number there. So if we now look out at Realm of Shadows, if there happens to be a ship there yet, which there probably is... Oh, there is! Um, that's convenient. Now... This is flowing, and we're loading them into the spaceship because we've decided we haven't got enough. So, as any time there's less than 2,000, which is the train load, then we'll load them into here and we'll take some more over. So, excellent. That seems to be working. This this is working. Okay, this yeah, this is working well. So, this this these these things here are not supposed to stop it. They monitor how many are um, in there, and basically, if there's any if there's any on the belt, then it stops it loading another probe rocket in there. Because I don't I was worried that we might end up launching probe rockets when we can't when there isn't room in here for all the stuff from them and causing problems. So that's going to just yeah that that that's running as expected. We can unload all of these once once that empties. This will then eventually empty the other side of it as well, and we can then put another rocket, another probe rocket in there. Launch that, and that will work nicely. Um, the question is whether it's going to have enough time to load all of these in here before it's ready to fly off again. But quite possibly, given that this is oh, so we're actually we're a third. That one's full. That one's two thirds full. This one's not touched yet. So we're all, uh, just slightly more than half full. Uh, and this is well, it's it didn't start at the same time as the other one started, so. Now, the risk of this is that while we, we will probably end up with twice as much of these things as we expect um, because of the uh, two of these ships flying backwards and forwards. Um, but I don't think that's a problem. It just means we're going to end up storing more of them. Uh, it's expensive in um, in memory cards, but that's not the end of the world. Uh, I think we can I, we, I think we can deal with that. And as long as there's, as long as there's enough storage at the other end, then we'll be OK. Then we'll be OK. So I'm not too worried about this. Right, so that's that train's come in. Pick those up, take them away. Um, map, that's what I was looking for. Let's turn that off and that off so I can see what I'm doing a bit better. So that will have brought the um, those data cards over to here. Here. Somewhere around here. Is it this one? No. No, this is biological. No wonder I can't find them. Um, to here, yeah. So we've got, we've, got, we've got a supply of them over here again now. Um, 
are you happy yes these are all and these are all working so now if we look back from where I was at the very start of the episode these are all now running happily they're producing the science data that I need um, these are not happy this we've, we've ripped through all of the um, the ion stream there so I need more ion stream in the um, more ion stream there's an iron stream for deep space science yeah we need a lot more of that w which stage are we short of uh, plasma specifically oh no that's the that's the um the oil problem again so that might not might this the, this this system here might actually be okay it's the uh, we haven't got enough chemical gel to make it from right it is definitely bedtime i think i've got to a point where i've um talk to myself to talk to myself out uh thank you very much for watching as i say come and join us um i'll be i'll be here again uh, same time next week so next wednesday for another stream um i won't be here on monday for the minecraft stream as i was saying earlier but i will be there the monday after so please come along and jo join me for that one if you want if you're if you if you, if you want do, do go along and join our stream for uh, minecraft on monday because they are going to be playing without me because it's my emblem and fault i'm away because i'm off on holiday <laughs> so i can't i can't complain too much there will be catch-up videos at the weekend for um, both uh, this stream and the Monday stream. Uh, that gives you a good, good, a good um, impression of what we've been up to and what I've been up to. And there'll be a GTA video. I think they're still... Are they now Fridays? I can't remember. I've lost track a little bit. But there, are, there's loads of stuff coming out. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you're following me here on Twitch. Please do. Um, the more followers I can get, the better. And if you're feeling particularly generous, don't forget to. Uh, I, I obviously strongly recommend you subscribe to me on Twitch as well because that's that's the that's the way these things are supposed to work. And so yes, that is um, this has been Lawrence Plays Factorio Space Exploration. And I think this is about the time I'm going to stop because, as I say, it's bedtime and I've re actually reached quite a good stopping place where I feel like I've fixed a lot of problems, but I've got a few written down to, to look at next time. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week.